Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. And tonight we have ten. Ten games we're going to play. Ten games. Oh my gosh. Yes. And they are on the Atari 8-bit system. Uh... So let's put that up there. Mm -hmm. um, they are out of sync. So let's fix that right now. <laughs> uh, it's always something. It's always something. Don't want to be out of sync. So only be out of sync for the first minute. There we go. There we go. Are we in sync again? <laughs> um, yes, 10. And they're all from Japan. Oh, cool. Okay. Yes. Uh, they are Ariel, Ascend, Battlelot, Bootscale, Cavit, Impetus, Lift, Maisie, Neurus, and Ruptus. And they're all by Inufuto. Mm. Is it all good now? Damn. Um, <laughs> I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. Al Nefer, I'm Scar Coder, Atari HBR Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Charles, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chive 5, Dan if you see Dr. Moo Kells, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Oren TTZ, Mark Yon is Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Mr. Zarnwood, Mr. Vic, Nathan Strum, Neo Media Op, Vocal, Oren Deck, or Pack Route VG, Koag RC70, Rendered Ghost, Printless V, Got Rod Castler, Smitty B, Smartens 581, Spartan 581, Spiceware, Samir is the Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, Victor M, and I didn't see your name oh, on no. there. <laughs> and I didn't see Drexal's name on oh, there. Oh no! No support uh, from the home crew. No. Yeah, no. I'll get on that in a second. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you want to get your name on there, the scrolling list beside Tanya, you can. Mm -hmm. And you can make me read it out, too. Uh, just uh, click subscribe mm -hmm. if you have Amazon Prime. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, or you can just follow us. I have a poll question this week. Mm -hmm. I know I have not asked because I've asked many of them and I'm losing track. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is... Let me get it up here. And it is working today, yeah, as of 10 yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, oh, there hey, we go. Miss Command, thank you for resubscribing. Perfect example. Thank you, Miss Command, <laughs> for resubscribing. 19 months. The poll question, it's an easy yes or no. Mm. So you don't, you barely even have to think about it. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have more than one generation of computer slash console during the, uh, during the time during, oh, it's terrible. During, during the, the 80s or 90s. 90s. Now I'm talking about at the same time. Mm. Like, did you buy a Sega Genesis at the same time as a Super Nintendo? Ooh. Or did you just stick with one and then the next generation, you went with another, another one. one? Next generation, mm. you had to pick one and stick with it. Mm. Um, and that does count if you like sold one and got another one. You only had one at a time. Yeah. Um, or did you have like yeah. both and you could go, oh, well, it's better for this one. Like right now we have a, well, let's go back a generation because we don't have the newest ones, but we have, we had a PS4 and a Switch. For, yes. Yeah. And that's probably the first time we ever bought two systems of the same generation. Before that, it was yeah. an Xbox 360. Yeah, but we had a Wii and an Xbox 360. Oh, we did. So I would say, but, but that's I mean, not, not the, the 80s, 80s 90s. 90s. No, new stuff. Nintendo and something else, but not normally both Xbox and PS, because they seem Atari, redundant somewhat. Atari 2600 and SNES. Yeah. Uh, technically, that does count. <laughs> technically, <laughs> but I wouldn't count it. Because they're not the same generation. Because the 2600 yeah. was discontinued in 92. Yeah. And I believe the SNES or SNES SNES. was put out in 91. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think that counts because they are different generations. So when you were They just up, lasted a long time. I had none. You had, you had no consoles Commodore 64. And, and that's, that's all your dad it. let you have, right? Yes. 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 Yeah. Which I'm very happy. Yeah. I, I, I'm very happy about that. Mm. 2600 NES are different generations. 2600 and NES. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't say it counts. Uh, ja Jaguar and PS1. Probably were around the same time, weren't they? I would, I think. Yeah. So they're both first gen yeah. 3D systems. Mm. I think the N64 was in that same era as well. I would, I would say for me, no. I mean, we, we had, had an NES. Well, I had a Commodore 64 for quite a while. And then eventually, very late in the game, we got an NES. Mm. But my dad was like, you have a computer and sort of the same thing. I'm yeah. not I'm not buying these other things. <laughs> you can you know? play the games on the computer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then eventually we got an NES. But, um, um, I had nothing, so I'm going to say no. Is that, what, is, what is no? Two. 
two is for now. Yeah. I, I just had a Commodore 64, so yeah, that's it. Yeah. And I didn't get all the game systems till later. I now have them, but that doesn't count. It has to be when it was out. Yeah. Yeah. Not not later. <laughs> N64 plus JAG plus PS1. Yeah. Ooh, somebody had money. Yeah. Uh, but you were you were saying that you had, um, had lots of friends with it. So you would kind of yes. play more at their, their house than having yeah. it at home. One yeah. friend I had, every time a new system would come out, he would sell the old one. He would he had all wow. the, the new systems for that generation. Mm. Every single one, mm -hmm. including Neo Geo. He had a Jaguar. Wow. He had everything. But he would just, he would just like he would upgrade, upgrade yeah, constantly. Every, every generation he would upgrade, wow. sell well, off smart all kid. his games. Smart kid. I mean, this was after like he had yeah. moved out and he was on his own. Um, yeah, he would sell the whole package, his system and his games, and he would buy a new system. Oh, he'd completely buy a new, oh wow. He'd dump his old system and he would use that money. To buy well, the new games. It's smart. I mean, yeah. basically, he's selling it while it still has a lot of worth, right? Yeah, so, that's the best time to sell smart. it. Yeah. Or you can wait 30 years when it's retro and yeah. it's the prices come back up. But it was probably still worth more back then. Yeah, yeah. In those, do in those dollars. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so lots of ones. Smattering of twoths. 66% uh, So uh, are ones. So some people... Okay. Uh, that's more twos than I... Or more ones than I thought, actually. Well... People having... Um, multiple systems. There are a lot of caveats, as Splendid Nut is pointing out. So there it's are. kind of like, yeah, how you how you how you define. <laughs> Not with it all those well. extra stipulations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, yeah. it's a complicated question. Mm. Welcome, Arena Foot, mm -hmm. and everybody else to the show. So mm -hmm. the first piece of news is pretty cool and pretty exciting. It's about the Atari seventy eight hundred, and it's about mm -hmm. an add on. Are you spilling? Drink? Almost, oh. almost. This He's cat almost very, knocked it right out of my hand. Very crying cat today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. Subscri yes, Ken Jennings. Six months Invader. in advance. Wow. That means you subscribe for six months in a row. Thank you, Ken. Jennings. Oh my god! Thank you so much, Ken Jennings. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. I've seen people do it, but six advance? months is a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know those six and twelve. That's not in advance. That's just they've oh, been no, no. subscribing. I get that. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cat. Yep. yep. This is Atari. Atari um, the cat. The fluffy Atari. Wow. Thank you so Yay, much, Dave, Dave Kadarin. <laughs> 7800 keyboard. This was posted yesterday. Okay. Does anyone know about the proposed 7800 keyboard add-on? No. We're going to tell a story about you later about that. So yeah, don't bad, cat. That. bad cat. Bad um, cat. <laughs> the reason I ask is I have the prototype ROMs for Star Typer, but they don't seem to work in emulators. And I'm guessing that's because they're trying to detect the keyboard. Mm. So there was a prototype 7800 keyboard that was being worked on so that mm. you could plug it in the 7800. And so let's go down to it. A modern prototype? or No, no, no. Back in the day. Back in the day. Okay. There's a prototype gotcha. of it. Um, it looks super cool. I yeah. have no idea what these triangle square, <laughs> just random function keys you could assign yeah. to stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, it excitingly had an SIO port and a generic cassette interface. The mm -hmm. SIO port is was on all the Atari 8-bit systems. Um, it was the predecessor to the USB, like literally the predecessor to USB. Okay. SIO. And you could plug anything into it, disk drives, uh, anything. It looks like okay. they were trying to turn the 7800 into a home computer mm -hmm. from a console, which a lot of companies did try and do. They, yeah. they did it with uh, the Famicom. They did it with the ColecoVision with the mm -hmm. Atom. Um, so that there was a trend for a little while to Try have to a kind of low powered home computer, home computer yeah. and, and yeah. make it an add on for people who had already the system. And it's like, Oh, I can turn it into a computer. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, where's my notes? So there was plans for it. It didn't get super far there. Uh, it didn't have the ROM in it to run it. Mm. Um, that was never made, but the schematics are out there for it. Gotcha. Um, so it looked like it was meant to be plugged into the joystick port. Let's go back down there. You can see that there. Yeah, the joystick, yeah. And some people had, uh, there was recovery of some programs to use with it. Mm. Um, so is in the, 
star typer, so you could type type some stuff on it. Um, but the keyboard is never made, so the star typer doesn't work in emulators because nobody programmed it for the emulator, of course. Um, but this might actually come to pass because, see, there's a screenshot of the star typer. Mm. Nobody's got that working yet. That's just an archive. Mm. Um, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, and two hours ago, Batari posted this. Okay. Wow, I had no idea there was already an Atari 7800 keyboard, much less a word processor and basic interpreter for it. Somebody should design a USB HID adapter for the Atari joystick port. Oh, wait. I did. <laughs> wow. So, he has something that plugs into the joystick port. Okay. For the Atari 7800. Okay. That you could plug a USB really? keyboard into the 7800. Wow. With the right programming. Of you, course. You have to have a program that receives. Someone would, yes, yeah. So he says it's Atari DB9 to USB-A adapter. Wow. Um, so it's just a normal USB keyboard. Uh, with USB chip capable of supporting HIDs, I designed this months ago with the goal of supporting wow. USB joysticks or a mouse on a 2600 or 7800, because we were discussing on the show about that a little while ago, about keyboard input for um like adventure games yeah. um that'd be absolutely amazing mm -hmm. uh but looking at the keyboard schematic posted here it appears the 7800 keyboard may only use joystick directions and fire button for the protocol which was uh, i was talking about that how do you emulate the stream of data into the 2600 yeah, yeah. it's got four directions and a button so that's five bits that yeah. it could turn on and off at any time and you just need the software on the other end. You just need the software. Wow. Um, so he's asking a little bit more information about that. Yeah, for Wordle. Exactly yeah. for Wordle. <laughs> we can speed up our Wordle inputs. Um, yeah, there was one for the 2600 as oh, well. Cool. Yeah. Um, was it ever made? or was It also... was made, actually. It was, okay. But it's super, super, super rare. Mm. So it just nobody has it. Mm. Um and then Revenge posted, the killer app is already written, mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of a joke, but kind of not a joke. <laughs> Last April 1st, I don't know how we missed this. Um, Memo pass? Revenge made a program for typing on the 7800, oh. but it was through joystick input. You had to scroll Up, through down, a letter, left, right. yeah, spaces, yeah. For, like uh, erase, everything. Oh, that's um, but literally, it is one. It, it, it works, yeah. obviously. So that would just need some a slight alteration Okay. for translation of a keyboard press to what goes on the screen. There you go. But all the keys are there. All the all the letters are there. Wow. Yeah, 2600 keyboard, keyboard is a is unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting one of those. The source code is there. Uh, the manual's there. A binary's there. You can run it wow. right now on your on your 7800. Wow. Um, so I thought that's super exciting. All the pieces are now in place, of mm. course. And uh, all you need to do is the programming because any keyboard will work on it. Mm -hmm. Like all, all the hardware is done. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, exciting. The they're Speaking of peripherals... Uh, Atlantin posted this yesterday. They are working on a new joystick controller for the 5200, an arcade does it style. To, uh, yes, it does. It has a paddle paddle emulator wow. on it, uh, wow. or spinner as well. I, actually, I don't know if it works as a spinner. Let's see. Uh, Hall Effect analog self-centering joystick. That's really cool. Mm. That's an analog joystick. Not a digital joystick, because mm. 5200 games need an analog joystick. Uh, ambidextrous. Get off there. Psst, 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 psst. He is not only on he? my amplifier, <laughs> he is chewing a wire. On your amplifier. On my amplifier, so... <laughs> it's a bad cat. Hey, you need to stop. Just stop. Stop being a bad guy. Uh, ambidextrous uh, button layout. Mm. So you can use the two buttons on the left or the right. Nice. Uh, knob control with spin spinner and paddle modes. Oh, okay. So because a paddle um, has... An end. An end to yeah. it. Spinner can go forever. Yeah. 
Cat's got to love them, yeah. Yeah, Cat wants street chicken. <laughs> street chicken. <laughs> Aww. Uh, Call back to the last show. Yeah. yeah. 3D printed frame over the keypad for holding OG and repro overlays because okay. um, 5200 had overlays, overlays for their for the, controller. The, yeah, nice, nice. Uh, Master play style 9 pin aux in for using CX1040 and Sega Genesis controllers on binary control games. So if you there's are using. There's another plug on it? There's another plug on it. Oh. So. Cool. We can plug in Bratwursts. Oh, into very nice. It. Yeah, yeah, if you want That to. is the absolute ultimate mm. controller mm -hmm. for the 5200. It has everything. Spinner, paddle, analog joystick, optional digital joystick, left or hand, right hand uh, buttons. So that is on my Christmas list. <laughs> I bet it is. <laughs> That's awesome. So they're almost done. They're just doing uh, last minute uh, testing on it. And nice. it is looking really, really good. And S. Ramirez says, oh, yeah, baby, I'm willing to pay you for that demo. <laughs> he, can't even, he can't even wait. He wants the demo model. He doesn't want the full model. Uh, yeah, the 7800 is 2600 nice. compatible. Yes. Uh, oh, i got to set the time out in my phone. Watch that cat. Um, speaking of paddles, uh, the, we discussed this last episode, the, um, Argon support for Atari 8-bit mm -hmm. systems, uh, it's for your phone or tablet or whatever you want. Um, they posted just on Saturday support for paddles. And it's this little thing down here, which is a very interesting control for a paddle. Okay. You slide your finger back and forth. Oh, for the paddle rather than a oh. rotating. I mean, that makes sense for a phone. That's yeah. awesome. So they uh, yep. showed a paddle game, Castle Crisis. Nice. Um, so you just go slide, slide, and you've got the buttons there. So they're adding paddle support. Neat for the Atari. That's very uh, fifty-two hundred and eight bit. Nice. That's really really nice. Uh, okay, this <laughs> came back. Let's see. I can hide this something there. This came to me back today. Mm -hmm. What this is, is an award that I sent to Brazil. Yes. A year and what ago. What was the date? What was the date on it? Uh, Crazy. April 13th. That's tomorrow. 2021. 2021. Um, and it just arrived back today. Just arrived back today. Yeah. Now, it actually got there pretty quick because they sent it back uh, June 2021. And then it took from June <laughs> to now to now to from get Brazil back. to get back here. Insane. New record. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. That's a long, long time. Like I, 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 eight months. That's yeah. That's Nine insane. months to get from Brazil to here, crazy. Yeah, that was on a boat or something. And you and, and it was just assumed <laughs> was floating on the water, stolen or lost. Oh, I mean, at that point, course. yeah, we did. We like, actually no one got it, it lost. and yeah, yeah. That but is it's insane. Back. insane. Um, so, so I'll be have it. <laughs> sending it again, I guess. Possibly. Um, Hopefully, making sure we have the right address or. I just verified. You did. Uh, I, I, it does have the right address. Really. They apparently did not contact him. That, <gasps> that he had a package. It has his phone number. It has all the information on it. No. They didn't contact him. And then within one month, they sent it back. Wow. Yeah. So. And they never even bothered to try and contact him to let him know it was there. He said he never got wow. any contact for it. So uh, that sucks a lot. <laughs> I, I agree. It is amazing. Oh, we yeah. Got it, back. it could have been lost behind the sorting machine. Oh, um, possibly. I don't see any other dates on here. No. Like when it it's crazy. got back here, like the only other one is 4-9, which is probably this year, 4-9, four, yeah. four, because that's before when they send it back. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's it. And it's actually in remarkable condition. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's destroyed. Because right I anything. put fragile do not bend on it, a little yeah. printout I put on it. It's not bent. It's it's perfectly good as far as I can tell. Yeah. I haven't opened it up yet. Anyway, uh, ugh, that's craziness. crazy. I, I when, when you got it, you're like, what? Oh did, my, what? What? what did I didn't I understand send? what this is. Yeah. What it was because it, it didn't make any sense. Yeah. What it was. Yeah. At least, well, we got it back. Anyway. I suppose oh, that's something. That. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna be playing ten games today. Uh, they are simple games. That's why I scheduled ten. Okay, they'll be quick. Um, yeah. But who is this person? Who is Inufuto? Okay. Uh, 
it was a little hard to find information about this person. He's not on Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. um, I did some digging. It wasn't too hard, but I found his Twitter. Uh, his Twitter. Okay. Um, and he does post uh, all his games on his Twitter. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, come on. Resize. Oh, there we go. Uh. <laughs> there we go. All right. So there's one, some of his games, and he, he doesn't say a lot on his Twitter. He's He just posts a link mm. to his game, and there's another link, and he retweets a lot of stuff. Mm. Um, I had to translate it. Mm. Um, Twitter doesn't have automatic translation. Uh, but yeah, he what this person does is he has made 10 games of his own games. Okay. And he has also made it made a cross-platform compiler to make a game once and it'll output the game to at least 31 different platforms, computers wow. and consoles. 31, I, I think there's more. I think it's like 35 or 38 So it translates ones. it and creates the code. Yeah. It's, you remember wow. back in the day, I don't know if you did, but, um, you know, you type in programs. Yeah. And I would get books out of the library mm -hmm. and it would say basic programs for Apple, Atari, yeah. Yeah. Commodore 64, VIC-20, and list a bunch of things. And you open up the book and, and they would have like lowest common denominator uh, basic programs. Mm -hmm. To, for you to type in because basic is basic is basic but between platforms it was different so some listings it would have oh if you have a commodore 64 instead of this line type this one instead yeah. of this line type this one so you type in the 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 main program and then you type in the extra ones mm -hmm. and it would have like a little star beside it for different ones do you mind don't go into the, the bad place please <laughs> he's just causing trouble <laughs> It's called the Atari uh, Causes Trouble Show. Yes. Here he is. Uh, so that's Calm down. kind of what he's done in a very, very simple form. Mm. He has made... Uh, stop buzzing. He has made his own <laughs> compiler. Uh, he calls it a C-like programming language compiler mm. for retro CPUs. Okay. And it's called C-A-T-E. Okay. Um He's also got a, a YouTube channel called Retro PC, mm -hmm. and and he posts videos of all like you see the all same the game over and over again. Of the games, that's yeah. amazing. Every single platform that he compiles it for. Mm -hmm. um, there's his organization chart for each of the translation the, of the different languages. Yeah, kind of thing? and yeah. how they relate to each other. Like this okay. is a branch off of this one. Wow. Like you can see, SCV is by itself, so it. it is nothing to do with any other program um, um, mm -hmm. platform. Mm -hmm. You could see PC six thousand one, eight thousand one, Passopia. Those are all related. So okay. I'm guessing those you have to alter some things a little bit. Okay. Um, oh, I played a bunch of these on the TRS eighty color computer and TRS eighty MC ten. They are a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So see TRS eighty. Um, mm. So I think. This encompasses every single platform that he supports. You can see Apple II, Vic, Atari 800 is the ones we're going to be playing tonight. Mm -hmm. And those are tangentially related to the C16, and PC8, the C and the PC8001 Mark II. Wow. So they have some things in common, like maybe the same processor mm. or similar commands or similar screen resolutions or sound chips like they would have something in common like you can see that's a dotted line i don't know what that says in japanese yeah. um but this is a strong line so c16 and atari 800 very yeah. similar uh some other ones that we might know the mass sega master yes. system yeah. over there yeah I, I i saw someone mention coco which i i've never yeah. i don't know what that is but uh, tandy color computer oh okay yeah. okay and yeah. that is way up there to related to the pc 6001 yeah, in some in some way yeah and the jr i see you know the 6502 so those are the chips they're uh, using too right there so you they're go. linking them via chip that's must be it these are all um chips uh, similarities. You yeah. see ZX Spectrum there. That's one yeah. I recognize. Or changes. Um, yeah. yeah. So super cool. Let's go to the next page I have here. So this is the cross compiling uh, language that he created, mm -hmm. C A T E. Dave the Daring says Kate, and I, I saw correct. that. Yeah. 
Um, here, I'll, I'll link this one so you can check this out. I'll put a little post there. Mm -hmm. C like programming language compiler for retro CPUs. Use ASM8 to assemble the generated code. So this is um, the language compiler and assembler. I'm not sure why mm -hmm. that's separate, but you can see it. It's uh, Z80, 6800, 6502, which is the yeah. uh, Atari. 8-bit uh, systems and 6809. And this is ASM8, the assembler, linker, and librarian for retro CPUs. Uh, this repository contains the following Visual Studio solutions. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm sure that's much more interesting for programmers that know more than me. Um, and what is this? This is a post. This is his first post about him getting back into programming. It says, the, er the earliest Twitter post I could find uh, on him is programming one of his games, Maisie, uh, back in December 30th, 2019, which he eventually compiled for 31 different computers and consoles, including the Atari 8-bit, ColecoVision, ZX Spectrum, TRS-80, VIC-20, and Apple II. Uh, and that says, after buying the PasoCom Mini PC-8001, I started programming for the Z80 for the first time in a while. Um, so you can see that's what that says right there. Okay. And I was like, well, what's a, what's a Paso Com Mini PC 8001? I've never heard of that. There's a lot of computers in Japan that never came here. Mm. So this is the mini version of the PC 8001. Oh, I see. You know, all these yes, in the they past make, five years, yeah, yeah. tons of mini computers. And they've just shoved oh, a tiny little... Super cute. Yeah, that is very So cute. if you scroll down... Here you can see that's yeah. the real one. Okay. That's the mini. Aww. And there's the HDMI out. Yes. There's some uh, USBs. You can plug keyboards. That's the mini, right? Yeah. Storage this is the mini. Super cute. So what is the PC eight thousand one? Uh, it's um, a line of personal computers developed for the Japanese market by NEC. The PC eight thousand one was also sold in the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. So it did come here yeah. as the PC eight thousand one A. Uh, so let's take a look at what it is. It was clocked at 4 megahertz, had 16K of RAM, expandable to 32, CRT video output, cassette port, parallel port for printer, serial port, and expansion bus. It had built-in BASIC, called NBASIC, mm. fits in 24K of ROM, and it had Microsoft Disk BASIC 4.51, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. 80, 80 by 25 text with 8 by 8 pixel font. Mm. And there's all the different specifications that you can read at your leisure. Um, <laughs> so I was alerted to this by Carlson. Mm. Uh, he didn't alert me, but I read it in the Atari Age forums. February 25th. The day has come. Inufuto has just added Atari 8. 8 bit to the third as the 37th or so, it's hard to keep track, yeah. uh, format, format to support. Wow. The first game was just ported. The other eight will probably appear in a few days. That's so cool. And the 10th one he added just a couple days ago. So I thought, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, play perfect. all 10. I was actually planning to do nine, and he just released the 10th one. Perfect. So I'm like, oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> Um, looks like it was only 8-bit processors. Yes, yes, only 8-bit. Um, because I'm guessing it's easy to keep it all the same like keep that. It, keep it um, convertible, I guess. Yes, much more easily convertible. So we're going to play them in alphabetical order because okay. why not? Why not? <laughs> you need to play it in some order. So yeah. might as well be alphabetical. So over the past couple months, he's been slowly porting his games okay. to the Atari 8-bit um, one by one. I'm sure it takes time to make sure it works and, mm -hmm. and figure out uh, the co the compiling of of the new system that he's added because, you know, you try one game, oh, it's not compiling properly. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get on with it. And I did alert him that we're playing the games tonight. Oh, nice. Don't know if he cares, <laughs> but uh, I did uh, add him at him on my Twitter post nice. about this. So, wakey wakey. Did I press the keyboard? Nope. Nope. Oh. Yay! Let's reset. So, the first game we're going to be playing is Ariel. Let's switch over to that. 
everyone can see, I did not make separate cartridges for each one of these games. No. <laughs> made a generic Atari 8-bit homebrew cartridge. Very nice. That people can see on there. <laughs> um, so. Yeah. You want to play? Sure. The there cat can go. play. There you go. Good there cat is... pillow. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> There's no instructions for this one. Okay. Uh, Ariel, push trigger button in Futo 2022. Score zero. I think most of his games are very self-explanatory. Like this one is just shoot everything and don't crash and don't be shoot shot at. Um, and some of, some of the, his games ha do have instructions. So you've got a score, a high score. Oh, I can shoot down. Yeah, so you can do straight ahead, up or down shots. Yeah, it's it's very very cute. Now I'm gonna. Oh, that's an extra life. Get that. Don't crash. <gasps> oh my god! How did you not die? I I thought I would have. <laughs> that was really close. So I'm gonna look up cross platform development. Um, and look up some considerations that you have to take. Things you have to take into consideration when doing cross-compiling, because it's not going to be as straightforward as you would expect. Um, because each system's different, right? Each system has a different way <gasps> of handling graphics, sound, color. Um, ah. Some have sprites. Some don't have sprites. Some have oh, just so text. I did test this program out. Oh, here we go. Um, just up to that guy. He can only shoot like straight or down. So there's a spot where he can't shoot you and you can just hammer at him. <laughs> uh -huh. A cardboard box says I wouldn't expect it to be straightforward at all. Um, so in computing, cross-platform software, also called multi-platform software, Platform agnostic software, platform independent software, is computer software that is designed to work in several computing platforms. Some cross platform software requires a separate build for each platform, but some can be directly run on any platform without spe special preparation. Now, I, expe I expect that means you could have, say, a, an uncompiled program, like it was programmed in BASIC and you could just directly run that basic program, but it would have a basic interpreter on each of them. Um, just like the books I was talking about, it's like, well, this program has been lowest common denominator for these computer systems in basic. Ah! Thank you for following the Witch of the East. Good name. Uh, that's the good witch, isn't it? Uh, Wicked Witch, Witch of, the of the West. West and the Witch of the East is is uh, Linda, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or did the Wicked Witch of the... I don't know. Wicked Witch of the West. Or maybe it's North and South with the good ones. I can't remember. But all, all I remember oh, wow. is reading about... Somebody oh, wow. said that, well, the witch that actually seemed good was not actually that good because she kind of used Dorothy to go and defeat... Um, <laughs> the, the, the bad guy? What was the name of the bad guy? In it. Oh, the Wicked Witch of the West. No, nope. the guy who was controlling everything. Oh, um, uh, the the Wizard of Oz. The Wizard basically. of Oz, yeah. Yeah. Um, because she never told Dorothy that she could just go home at any time. She waited. <laughs> she waited Good right point. to the end. Good point. Good point. And said, "Oh, you could have gone home any time you wanted to. <laughs> I just didn't tell you. It's the slippers that could have taken you home. Oh, thanks for defeating the big bad guy of our whole land. <laughs> oh, now you can go home." <laughs> so, yeah. Seems like the lowest common denominator is text towel mode of redefined characters. Yeah. Um, okay, let me continue on. Oh my gosh. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, some could be directly run on a platform without special pre preparation, being written in an interpreted language, or compiled to be portable bytecode, for which the interpreters or runtime packages are common or standard components of all supported platforms. In this case, these are compiled. These are binaries, so they're they're run in um, 
they're not in basic you know they're in machine language so you he did compile it for each separate computer uh gaming system or computer system oh two of them now now you can't escape so easily ah uh, it is uh, a bullet hell game the bullets start much. going yep it's really cool it's very nice very simple yep another round you want to try yep and okay. then i will play glinda Glinda. She was hired. Yeah, she was. she, she yeah. wanted to hire a mercenary yum, yum, to do yum, her dirty work. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, good timing. Feed that cat. All right. Feed that cat. What? What do you want? Do you want some treats? He's like, where's the bell? Give me the bell. Oh, uh, oh, uh. We got some uh, free treats through Amazon. <laughs> yes. Tasty chicken flavor. So truly, he'll get some street chicken today. Street chicken. Oh, look at that. Two. Immediately, he's like, I'm pretty damn hungry. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Not fast enough, servant. Oh my goodness, I, I can't open it. Do you have scissors? Uh, yeah, I do. Can I give him some out of this first? <laughs> Poor cat. Poor kitty. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's you actually use this. Yeah. Okay. We'll use this up today. All right. There we go. Thank you. Oh, I know. Oh, we know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fifth, fifth ding. <laughs> He wants. You want your street chicken? All those dings. Whoop. Go get it. Go get that street chicken. Open the package, then give him the bell. <laughs> it's always yes. the same. Yeah. Uh, but isn't it more fun that he's like constantly dinging the bell? <laughs> if Glenda told Dorothy that, that the, the book, book in the movie would have been very short, they would have been very short. She, she would have been. Dorothy would have been like, you want me to what? <laughs> no, I think I'll go home, thanks. <laughs> Such is the draw of street chicken, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let me give this a go. We do have okay. ten, 10 games. Excellent. Oh, we lost this the treat. You knocked it under the door. Oh, give him another one. Oh, you're a silly cat. I found one the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. And he I lost one and... Aw. Did you get it, or did you lose it? I thought I heard him crunching, but... There you go. Either way, he wants more. Yeah, this is bullet hell. Oh my god, why did, <laughs> why did I do that? Hell. Oh, the pole has closed. Ding! Fun little cute music. Pretty, pretty decent game, actually. Good kitty. There's enough bullets and, and enemies the on the screen to uh, keep you occupied. And they come from behind. Some of them don't shoot. Most of them do. Oh, actually, all of them do. Some of them just weren't shooting. <laughs> oh my god. You're gonna have to wait till the next, 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 uh, bell. Yeah. Yeah. Good kitty, though. It's gonna start biting us. Give me some food now. Yeah. What? Am I continuing? I think you're continuing my it game. Like it's you're at stage right three. You're at stage three. Oh, well that's cool. Well, that's nice actually. Ooh, one down. Watch. I think there's like a. Sp oh. oh, not that spot. <laughs> it's like right. No, I think it's up above maybe. There oh, maybe. Go. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I went right into the mountain. I know. I, I was like, oh, jeez. That was forgiving. I guess you can go on the. Uh, the Ooh, slopes of it, but not yeah. on the full character. And I believe all these games are character based. Because that makes sense, because I would think that each of these systems. Nice. Um, yeah, it's down to zero. Each of these systems handles graphics very differently, so it's much easier to just make it all text based. Stats is just asking me, Hey Tanya, did you get around to playing Impossible Mission on C64? If so, how did it go? I have not played it in a long time. Yeah. I do want to play it on stream at some point. Okay. It's been such a long time since I played that game. I'm sure we can find it. And... Well, we have we have the Mini, which would be a fun way to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, I have a C64. Yeah. Um, that was emulated too. I mean, it's not no, a no, big no. deal. No, 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 no. Well, the, the Mini one is emulation. So that's true that's true it's not a real c64 no i haven't done it yet i would definitely want to see how far i get i bet you'd have to how many games do you think you'd have to play to finish finish it 
I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I, I, I feel like I probably could finish it. I know, I, I played it. Well, that's not a question. I think you could finish it. I, I played it not that long ago and suddenly well, realized I knew how to defeat all the rooms. <laughs> like, I, I remembered the tricks to get ah. around things. I, with the freezing and the uh, lift resetting, yeah. if I use that, if I try to do it using that, I think I can I can finish it quite easily. Yes. Uh, if you try to avoid doing that, which I always did for the most part. Oh, of course. Because you never few, knew when there you needed few, it. There are a few... Well, no, I mean, I generally didn't need to. Oh, but okay. there are a few rooms where it's like impossible almost. I'm sure someone it's, somewhere has found a trick to do it, but maybe. there are a few rooms that are just like, oh, no, it, it would just take so many deaths to get through oh. it, right? Um, but like the puzzles, I don't remember much about the puzzles. I remember them being fairly challenging to like get them in, done in time, so. It's because I they were know. all like different colors and they were all mixed well, you, up you and superimpose. upside down. It's things and superimposed and they're upside down and. Flipped and. So that part, I'm not sure how ah. well, how quickly I'll get that, but. Um, Last life. I remember the um, oh, Simon oh. Says sound. Oh my God, that was cool. Where you have the big screen and you have to hit the buttons. Oh God, Do you yes. remember that? Yes. Yeah. To get the bonuses? Uh, you didn't yeah. get puzzle pieces with it. You got lives I, or time uh, or... Some of them, I think, did have puzzle pieces. I think you pieces. got lift, Really? Yeah, I think, I think just the you would sets. get something and you, you could get the resets, but I seem to think you could okay. also end up with a... Oh! Oh! Oh, so One like, more. I got an extra life at some point. I think I'm safe right here. Yep. Uh, I'll just stay right here. <laughs> <laughs> if the game allows it, it's cheating. not cheating. It's not cheating. Okay, let's go it's here. It's called strategic play. It is. Very nice. Oh, red, white, yellow, green, That and background that fits for mode four. Mm. Okay. It's counting colors. Of course, that's what I do with. Antic mode five is easier to manage in basic ten liners. You just need a deep poke to put an object in the playfield. Oh, see that. And the would tiles make it in this game are easy. not fixed to a two by two grid, like Batoko. Batoko knows. Batoko knows. Is his uh, ten liners? <laughs> yes, basic ten liners. Basic ten liners. And can you make this in ten lines? <laughs> Itoko. Oh, I, 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 I see a challenge coming on. <laughs> I think there's some games in this pack that he probably could try and do. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe with some randomization and not like level design. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Awesome. On to the next game. And just press left in the button. Go back a level. Going to ascend. Uh, ascend mm -hmm. to the next game. Uh, this one, it's called, it, the instructions are, it is clear, that means you clear the level, when you reach the top floor while avoiding monsters. Okay. You can trap monsters by jumping and pushing up blocks. So I did play this one, I played all of them a tiny bit. So you have to climb to the top, and by going using the ladders, and you can trap those monsters, that one you want to trap on the right hand side, yeah. by jumping. Now? No. Nope. Oh. I, I... Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Nope. How did he... <laughs> and there's little uh, little fireballs that come down. A, so they only go down? Yes. Okay, well, that's good. And, and a little hint, when they reach a ladder, they have to go down the ladder. Gotcha. So you can be safe by being in the right position. And now. There you go. Nope. So be on the... So if you just stay right there, you're totally safe from that bomb. Oh, you're safe now, because he goes down the ladder. Yeah. There you go. Now it's time to go up that ladder. So it's Donkey Kong-ish. Oh, you're going to be in trouble. And that guy comes back. Oh my god, trap him there. Perfect. No, nope, you can go up. No, I... And stay on the right-hand oh, side god. of the ladder. Oh uh, god! There. There, there, there. Oh my god. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. So you just have to kind of map out where those bombs can and can't go. And and you'll be pretty safe. I'm guessing that's an extra life, but I've never got one. Uh, no, invincibility! Run! Run, you're invincible! Oh. Run! Run to the top! Yay! <laughs> Antic has four by eight in double scan line. Five In mode five is four by 16 characters. Mm. I've fallen in love with mode four. It's 
not awful. It looks like they have to be using Antic Mode 4. Yeah, it's... The graphics mode they're using is is totally good for... Ooh, risky. Oh, risky. I, I don't hit... You have to be perfectly under the ladder to go up it, and yeah. I find that very challenging. And this is tile-based movement, mm. so you don't move smoothly. It's always like... Right? No, John. You want to trap them on the opposite side of the ladder. And this one you have to go down and back up again. Oh, is that guy trapped there? Yeah. Oh, he falls. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Uh, <laughs> the kitty. Oh, let me read a bit more about... Making cross-platform games. For software to be considered cross-platform, it must function on more than one computer architecture and OS. Mm. Developing such software can be time-consuming tasks because different OSs have different application programming interfaces, API. For example, Linux uses a different API from Windows. Software written for one OS may not automatically work on all architectures that OS supports. One example is off OpenOffice in which in 2006 did not run natively on AMD or Intel, Intel 64 processors. So if he's making a game for a console or a system that ah, uh, you missed can't the ladder. Go up. Yeah, you have to stop and go up. You can't, you can't just go up. Tile-based choppiness works a lot better for this game than mm. the last one. Uh, yes and no. Like Tanya was saying, you have to be pretty specific. Precisely under. Am I continuing? I am continuing. Are you? Well, oh, that's fine. Uh, that's totally it's, it's fine. It's very nice for the stream, because then you're not seeing the same levels over and over it again. It is. Uh, which way should I go? I don't know. I went up this the This one's left, a long one. But you have to really dodge those okay. guys. No, he... he He'll yeah. go down there. Okay. Yeah. But then you have to kind of run away and well, then get over here. There's lots of room. There's he lot. will go down. Yeah. So yeah, you're okay lots of there. Room. You just have to... And I'm safe here, because... Yeah, exactly. Which way is going to go? Yeah, they can't choose to... As long as... Oh, God! Uh, <laughs> good job. I fell you down! Have... See, it's when you're trying to go up. It won't let you go up. Yeah. Unless... Yeah, you have there to you be go. pretty... Well, here comes a... Invincibility. So you should be Coming good. this way? <laughs> just in time. <laughs> just in time. Uh, hi, kitty. Are you helping? I'm helping. Yeah, he's helping. Ooh, you gotta dodge this guy here. Oh yeah. Mm. Hi, you gonna you gonna get on your pillow, little, little princess cat? Which way should I put him? I'll just keep him over there. Sticky. Does it block me too? It oh, does. it blocks me as well. You have to go up and then down. Oh. Yes, I do. Oh, oh. Well, this one's gonna be a bit more you might of be a in challenge. Trouble. You might be in trouble. Maybe go down and go up on the other side? Uh, oh, you made it there. Oh, you're safe there. Interesting. Not safe there, because that guy's coming. Ooh. That's not helpful. No? No, because I can either... I'd have to trap him on the side where I don't... Come here. Yeah, <laughs> run! Go for it! I don't know how long this lasts. There's no time or... Yay! No, Pretty long time. I don't think that PM graphics are being used in this tile-based game. No, I believe there's no player missile graphics used in any of these games. They're all 100% tile-based, which makes it... Uh, I think I'm on, I'm on, on the left there. Makes it easier for cross-compiling so that you don't have to deal with systems that don't have... Um, Graphics. Uh, uh, oh, oh god. Okay, no, sure. I can go up that side. Oh, oh, oh! Invincibility. Oh, another invincibility. I'll take two. Thank Must you. Be random. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, good. Good. It didn't turn it the, off. The invincibility <laughs> really does help you. Really does help you a lot. Oh my god, yes. Stage six. Uh, you stay over. Oh god. Nope. Uh, can I retract it? No. <laughs> oh well, just have to deal with one it. One use, one time use. Once it's up. Go, 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 go! Run, 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 run! Go, go, go! Run, run! Oh, that takes oh, you all the no way bombs. up. Oh, there's the bombs now. Oh, oh. 
You both. Oh, there's nowhere to go here anyway. Yeah, you're stuck. Ah, oh, I have to go around. Go. Oh my oh. goodness, how do you get up there? What? The. What? What? What's going on here? Well, let's go back up here. Oh god. What? Okay, this might be the end of this game. Can you wrap around RC70? Oh, smart, smart. Nope, not there. <laughs> not there, uh -oh. at least. Go, go, go down. Quick. Run! Run! I'll try it up here. Nope. Can you jump? You can jump? Jump? Oh, I can jump. Oh, can I jump over? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that's something. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Don't Good fall. tactic. Uh, uh, no, I don't want If you block. hit it, you block yourself from the ladder. Yeah, you do. It's bad news. Okay. That's oh, my God. going to be a tight one, but it should work. <laughs> that was dangerous. <laughs> Watch out. Go, 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 go. long go. it lasts. Yep, that's good noise. Woo! That's the good noise. The loudness of these games isn't very loud. I no, can't turn up the volume um, anymore. Can you play yep, for a second? Sure. Okay, kittens. Uh, let's crank this up a bit. Uh, crank up the gain. Keep that up. Go. Check, check, check. Yep, still works. Good. Maybe a bit too much. Maybe a bit too much. There we go. It's quite loud enough. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it, that's another thing. If you're programming music and sound, for 37 different platforms. It has to be, oh my god, it has to be very lowest awesome. common denominator as well. So you're gonna have pure tones. Oh boy, that's a dead end on the left. You're gonna have to go to the right. Give me. That's what you need. It does have a time limit, so you can't just wait out the, uh, wait it out for an invulnerability somewhere. I think we're gonna find out when the invulnerability stops. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, stand in the middle. Oh god, run! Ah! <laughs> Trapped! <laughs> this one's quite long. You wanna try? No, mm -hmm. way too loud. Okay. <laughs> Seemed fine at the previous level, did it? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Goodbye, game. Check, check, check. Okay. We're good. I wanna see some of these on the Coco. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, I, they're not all... Oh, did I go the wrong way? No. No. Oh, you're gonna oh, get killed. Oh, no, not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they're not all available on all. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to. Oh, they're go still really coming. Fast. Yeah, they come in waves, I've oh, noticed. Okay. So this may or may not be available on the Coco, but mm -hmm. hopefully. Hopefully it is. Um, if you go to my. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, don't come this way. Ugh. Mm. Uh, last man. This is a very good game. If you block very that guy to the right, it does help. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes. It does help. There you go. Thank you for that hint. Yeah. This is on the Coco? Excellent. There you go. Mm. Oh, made it here quickly. This will help a lot. There we go. I want this guy on the right for sure. No! Oh, no. <laughs> Can you get past it? No. But I don't need to go to the right of it, so it's okay. I just need to get. Uh, I can stand here, but yeah, that's I not. So. That's yeah, that that very works. Long. Uh, just wait for that thing. Ooh, here it comes. Here comes my savior. Oh god, no, no. Get it. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Run as fast as you can. <laughs> left or right? Left or right? Right, right, oh, right. Oh, another right. one! Yay! We'll go Keep up going. here. Keep going. Where am I? Oh, there I am. 
Just now like you're now you're not there. Timed with the flashes somehow. Let's be careful. Go 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 go. Yeah. Yes. Eight, seven. Player animation is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's trap this guy first. Mm-hmm. His songs are always very upbeat. <laughs> on all the games. I like do, it. Do, 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 <laughs> do, 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 Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Let's see what's up. Nothing, of course. Absolutely nothing. See, you need lock to be him trapped to that on side. the left. Oh no! Well. Yeah, I don't. It makes it hard. Ah. Yeah, I, I don't need to go there. This guy needs to be trapped on the left. Don't come this way. Oh, got this guy on the left while I'm at it. This is getting a lot more complex. Yeah. That's it's nice. hard to tell what you should be doing. <laughs> this is a great game engine. Of course. That they always go towards you. I, they do. If you notice, depending on what side you're on, they go towards you. Mm. Oh, oh god. Yeah, he can get you there. Mm. Uh, game over. Really good game. Excellent. That is. Yeah, really fun. Excellent game engine. So. And you can see the dates there. February 26th, the last mm. one was April 10th. Ascend was the newest one. Gotcha. Yep. So, battle lot. Let's mm. see if there are any instructions. It is clear when you destroy the enemy base. The game is over when allies are destroyed three times. Those are your instructions. Okay. Let me read that again. It is clear when you destroy the enemy base. So your goal is to, to, to destroy, destroy the, enemy the base. base. Yeah. And the game is over when the allies are destroyed three times. I so think you the, I are think... the allies. Yes. No, or. or... Well, oh, I see. see. I see. Okay. Yeah. You have three lives, basically. <gasps> so, oh, you have your base, and then there's the dude and their base. So you have to go destroy their base. Oh. I have to, I assume, defend my base. Yes. Ah, uh... okay. So you kind of have to work your way towards it while destroying them, it looks like. Um, graceful Degradation. Graceful Degradation attempts to provide the same or similar functionality to all users and platforms while diminishing that functionality to a least common denominator for lim more limited client browsers. But it, it, would, it would be the same for not just browsers. For example, a user attempting to use a limited feature browser to access Gmail, now notice that Gmail switches to basic mode, which reduce functionality, but still of use. Multiple code bases. Some software is maintained in distinct code bases for different hardware and OS platforms with equivalent functionality. This requires more effort to maintain the code, but can be worthwhile where there's amount of platform specific code is high. So the example for this one would be 6502 code. If it depends on how he programs, I'm guessing all the systems, like he's just writing one code and it just compiles for all of them, but maybe not. I, I don't know. I didn't look into running the program or not, but he could do it in multiple ways. Do they shoot? Oh, come on! Oh, looks like they can take a couple hits. Uh, time oh, time! Terrible! Up. I think you need to kind of strategize your way to the I base. Think you just need to go a straight line and defeat them on the way. Because right now that guy's going straight for your base, and you are nowhere near your base. Yeah. Oh, no, he comes smart. back. He's, they're not that smart. Oh, he turns around. He's kind of going for you as well. Uh, single code base. This strategy, which he may be doing, he may be doing a single code base where it's you write the game once. Oh, come on. And say for this game, it's got colors. Nice. Oh, it's pretty quick to destroy it. So you really want to get there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. <laughs> if devs, if devs are equivalent platform specific stuff, no doubt. Okay, so he could make. Like four, like he only lists, I think, four different chipsets that he programs for. Oh, you gotta defeat the 
the, the bricks. Um, but he could say if 6502 do this, if different chip do this, if different chip do this for specific things. Um, but single code base, this strategy relies on having one code base that may be compiled to multiple plat platform specific formats. Uh, one technique is conditional compilation. With this technique, code that is common to all platforms is not repeated. So you might, might be referencing that. Blocks of code that are only relevant to certain platforms are made conditional, exactly, so that their only interpreter compiled when needed. Or it could be doing it in the... Oh yeah, another technique is separation of functionality, which disables functions not supported by browsers or OSs while still delivering complete application to the user. Uh, this technique is used in web development where interpreting code can query the platform is running to execute different block uh, blocks conditionally. Um, so what I was saying is that, say this game has color, right? Um, but maybe you're compiling for a system that doesn't have any color. It's got black and white. Black and white. Um, the, you could either say if system only has black and white, then make you this color and then make this a different color. Oh, it has... Oh, he killed me. Oh, wow. He got me. But you have infinite lives? I think. Because you only have bases to be concerned about. Oh, let's, let's use a better example. Like 16 colors and 8 colors. You'd have to say these are these 16 colors, but on this system, it's one of these 8 colors. Yes, that's what I meant with the if defs. Yeah. It's not a particularly hard <laughs> game. It's it's slightly puzzly because yeah. you have to figure out, you it's know... It's getting more puzzly with the... Um, with the paths. With the paths. And it's kind of protecting their base a bit and yeah. making it a bit mazy to, to get to them. It is but, kind of. But it's only spitting out enemies fairly slowly so you can defeat them. There you go. Oh! Ah, they do get you. Wouldn't it be better to go all the way to the bottom and do oh, what you said know. before Maybe. and shoot straight up? Maybe. This one looks fun strategy-wise. It it's is getting, fun. It's I'm enjoying it. It's getting more strategic as it goes. Mm, getting brave. Shoot it! Nice. Yes. Okay, my turn. <laughs> Jumping in at stage eight. Yeah. Might okay. As well. I'm going to run and get a drink. I'll, you know, you're okay. Oh, I have to Very break thirsty. out. Do you want your good I'm good. Water. I have okay. to break out of my own area. Oh, no. Oh my god, look at this. This is... They're, we're both very protected. Oh, run, run. Oh, you they touch you. They don't die, of course. The law of video games is... If the, if the enemy touches you, you always die. They never die. <laughs> I think in some situations, they should... They should die. Oh, come on. Ah! The wall was blocking me. Come on, wake up! It's kind of good too, because it makes for a very protected path on the way there. There we go. Oh, you can shoot their shots! <laughs> okay, let's get really close. And... Oh, no! I don't like how you're start off not moving. No, don't shoot me. No! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> oh, come on. They're kind of like... Here. It's kind of like you're the mama cat and these are the kittens getting out of the nest. You know, <laughs> yes. they're like blindly crawling around and the mom cat's trying to stuff them back in, you Ooh, know? They, do they have pathfinding or are they stupid? No, That's they're stupid. stupid. Oh, they, okay. they seem to just kind of randomly wander. And they must have a general direction, but they seem to wander like about. go kind of... Oh, is this oh, open? Oh, stage nine. They're dead. They're absolutely dead immediately. Because they're not Because they're stupid. Oh. oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Well, that was my... Come on, wake up! Oh no, you're oh dead! Oh my god! You're dead! You're dead! Oh no! <laughs> <You're> dead. <laughs> wow, I did not uh, think this one was gonna be. You have hard. to be very precise and you have to kill okay, them right I have away. To get rid of them. Oh! oh my god. Watch out for their shots! 
Oh, they're no, going you at can't. A, they're going at an angle. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be game over. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up! No! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> Don't get cocky, kid. <laughs> I'm playing that level again. <laughs> I want to do it. I bet I can beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks easy, huh? Yeah, it does. It looks really easy. Oh my god. Kill him! You you can't die! Wake up! Wake up! Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Metal looter says Tanya could do it. Tanya could do it. <laughs> she has more practice. Oh, oh no! Wake up! <laughs> oh, god. Okay, I gotta get in between his shots. There we go. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, oh, what are you doing running in front of their fire? Because you have to to get no, you don't. to shoot them. You shoot the base. If you shoot the base before they come out, okay. then you're dead. Then you've the won. Oh. Oh, well, don't get shot. <laughs> <laughs> shoot him. Shoot him. Oh, no. Look, he's just continuously firing on me. Oh, okay. no, you're done. You're done. There you go. <laughs> get off there. You're a bad count. Come up here. Come cuddle here. Yeah. Easy, huh? So easy. So oh easy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Show them how to do it, Tanya. <laughs> no, we're dead now. <laughs> we're dead. I have to start over. Come on. Start over. <laughs> Rage reset. <laughs> Rage reset. I'm not yeah. even trying. No, see? That's so <laughs> funny. They get themselves caught. They do. It's so funny. Run. Just run. Run. Know, straight across. Avoid the bullet. Oh, he's... Oh, what? Oh. oh, he goes after you! Come on. Oh, Be nice to the joystick. Be nice. It's not about being nice to the joysticks. It Why is. is this not shooting properly? Get it. Get his face. No! Oh, they're so fast. What I thought was the easiest... No. Was the hardest yeah, level, in sure. fact. Get, go, 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 go. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes. <sighs> Made it. And that's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Controllers can be replaced. <laughs> mm. Bragging rights, cat. That's right, Metal Lunar. There you go. You can do the next one. <laughs> well, we got to move on. Uh, it's great. It's fun. Really it's really good. It's really game. fun. I like the concept of it, too. I, like Maybe I should go around these. Kind of a capture the flag kind of a situation. It is, yeah. Type of game. Oh, they're building up over there. Oh, nice. Oh, I found that the last one like this they're was fairly smart. easy. Um, they're not very smart because they get stuck. They like go I for said, you, they're like they go blind for kittens, you know? Yep. They, they, they're just stumbling about, don't know where they're going, kind of know generally they, they want to get away, but that's about it. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Then you got a nice tube. To when there's a long tube, easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Oh, nice. I'm just going to burrow my way in here. Mm. And they won't be doing that. The Doko says, horizontal shots seem to be slower than vertical ones. I think that's ah. I think that's true. Which is why I ran over and hit the base so quickly. Let me test that out in the next yeah. level. If I have a nice horizontal and vertical. Yeah. Oh, the cat's being cute. He's just Hi. settled on the floor okay, waiting so for more treats. Sorry. Vertical. Yeah. That's pretty fast. Yeah, about the same. Hey, they can kill between them. Kill between them? They can, do you mean each other? No, no. They've been... Maybe, oh. but I don't, I don't know if they necessarily fire on each other intentionally. Okay, we're done this one. <laughs> Super fun. This one's really good. And works well as um, as a tile-based game. Because mm. it is tiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, load the next one. Uh, it is Bootscale from February 27th. Uh, it has instructions. Push the block and hit the monster to defeat it. Be careful, as monsters also hit blocks. This is Pango. Oh... <laughs> You see, you reuse his graphics. Oh my goodness. It's it's fast pango. Oh <laughs> my goodness. It is fast pango. Uh, testing cross-platform games. Cross-platform applications need much more integration testing. This talks a lot about web. 
web browsers for cross platform. It's so hard. It's very strange. Ah! Because I guess not many things are made cross platform anymore. Mm. Except mostly web. Web based things, because web is like a HTML is obfuscating what you're. Yeah, it's. I can see why they're talking about web based stuff. Um, oh, here we go. Binary software. This will be more ap ac applicable. Uh, traditional application software has, has been distributed as binary files, especially executable files. Executables only support platform they were built for. Case in point, mm. Atari 800. We would try and run this on another computer. It'll be like, what? Or crash or do weird things. Probably usually do nothing at all. Run! <laughs> Oh, they're brutal, aren't they? They're so fast. <laughs> but it they're is. not very... Oh, some come back. Smart. Oh, there you go. Oh, he, he hit he hit himself. One, oh, one wow. monster hit the other. That's nice. That's cute. They're not going after each other, but if they accidentally... Oh yeah. my god, look where you are. Oh, no. I thought you were in... That's your extra life. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Easier said than done. Ah! Oh, bad timing. <laughs> The C64 versions of some of these games appear to be using sprites. Really? Interesting. Hmm. Um, executables only support platform they're built for, which means a single cross-platform executable can be very bloated with code that never executes on a particular platform. Instead, generally, there is a selection of executables, each built for one platform. Right. Uh, for software that is distributed as a binary executable, such as written for C in C or C++, this is a C-like... Oh my god. Oh! They, I'm, I'm trapped in the corner. Touching you doesn't kill you? No, no. Oh, it should. They come after you. Oh no. And I, now I'm trapped. Oh, push, push them out. Yeah. Every time they move one, you move one. There you go. Push them out. Bad, bad things. Well, that's kind of good to know. So, they can't one game, this is a very, very rare instance of a game where you touch the enemy and you don't die. Yeah. And they don't die. Yeah. That's super rare. Yeah, they they kill you by hitting you with the block. Do all the games have a scoreboard at the right? Yes, so far. Yeah. I think he has made all the games so it has a very specific oh. number of, let's say, tiles vertically and horizontally for your gameplay. And then he's made the score and information on the right hand oh. side. One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, eight across. And however down. Alright. You're it's, a good pangoer. Oh, it's funny all these continue. Yeah, but it's great. I like it. I like that so much. You're not redoing levels over and yep. over again. It's really Come nice. Come on. He's gonna oh. hit you. Oh he's gonna get ya. But they're really fast. Yeah, don't let them get too cl close to the block that you're... You kind of need to get them from a distance. But they're smart. The moment you're close, they'll hit a block at you, so... Oh, let's go over here. Wait for them. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come let's on, go down Slimer. a bit. And up. The slimers. Red Slimers. Red Slimers. Okay, you... Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Waiting. Hey! <laughs> Oh, can I get this guy? Come on, 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 like push them against the side and then you're done, right? I and think then you they, don't have any blocks left. They somehow respawn themselves. I don't know how they do that, but come on. Oh, he's silly. Okay. Poor guy's stuck. <gasps> uh, he hit you. you he, it's really bad to do that to I let know. him get too close. Because they're really fast. They're very fast. They're faster than you, I think. Okay, I'm ready. Come on, do it. Nice. <laughs> Good job. So if you're fast enough, you can get it before them. Mm. Just barely. I'll play one more level. Oh. Whoa! Long way around. Okay. Let's oh, go shake you, hands with how them. How do you... Hi. Hi, how, how are you? How do you get you? into the Hi. other sections? Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, how are you? It's so funny. 
Oh, you, oh you up, up the there. Oh, I see. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Okay. It's so funny. <laughs> I, d I just... It d makes no sense in my mind that you can just go up to the enemy. It's just... It's baffling. Okay, respawn. Can't use that one. Those ones are useless. Yep. Hmm. Yep, see, they come back. Yeah, I think he realized that he... Oh, he was trying to get out of the way. Okay, come down. You quickly end up with a boar that you and can't do anything up. with. And you come over. One or more. Come on. There we nice. go. Yeah, you end up with a... Oh, that guy's way back here. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Oh. Follow me. Follow me. No, no, no. Come on. Down, down, down. No, one more over. Yeah, there we go. Now follow me way over. Oh. Useless. <laughs> Where are you yes. going back there? Uh, there There's was... nothing back there. <laughs> There's no blocks at all there. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'll have to... Okay, dudes. Come on, randomly go. There you go. Up. Nice. Okay, you... There's lots over here. Come on over here. <laughs> follow me. Follow me. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. There. I'm ready. There we go! Stage 8! Another very good one. Mm -hmm. I think they should kill you, though, when they touch you. That might make it way mm. too hard, though. Oh, 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 oh my, my god. god! Instant death. This this level reminds me of... Um, it's like, a, like they push everything up. Yeah, it reminds me of... Oh, what's that dungeon? Maze game. Uh, oh. Thank you for following cat zero 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 <laughs> And thank you for watching. Okay, load the next one. Alright. Which is Cavit. Gotcha. I always hit it too fast. Too hard. Smacking it. Nope. It's just uh it is clear when you take all the treasure chests. Okay. I mean, this is translated from Japanese. Uh you can drop rocks to defeat enemies. Treasure chests and enemies. So get all the treasure chests and drop the rocks on the enemies. Oh, it's Dig Dug. <laughs> you, yeah, you do this one. This is this is your game. Enemies James is a Dig Dug fan. He's got a little axe. Very cute. Oh, oh, oh! Those are the things you those get. Are the those are chests. the treasure chests. And oh, then there's the rocks. The... Okay. Oh, he's in a prime position. Good nice. Job. There's another oh. treasure chest. Oh, the rocks don't disappear. Interesting. That's a wall. Mm. I'm guessing they kill you if you touch them I'm in this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. If I dig there. Thank you! Hackrat VG! For some resubscribing! Yay. Oh, and that's all you have to do is get the treasure chest. Just get the treasure chest. 25 months! Just stopping by before work. 8-bit night! Yay! It is <laughs> the 8-bit night. It's magnificent how you're talking to the enemies the same way one might talk to a cat. Yes. Know, Get out of there! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, they can go through the dirt. Yes, they so feel they're... less like enemies when they don't kill you when they touch you, and they seem more like cats in that they're mis mischievous and do bad things. Kill, kill one with, kill two with one rock. Oh, did you? Yep. Did you get points for that? Yep. Oh, that's a... Oh! Oh, I, th I thought he did that to you. <laughs> no. uh, it's good that Watch it's still. It. Oh, oh, he's a fast so moving fast. crab. Oh, oh, he oh, gotcha. Spin. Oh, you start that's the level nice. over. Completely over. Yeah. That's not very Dig Duggy. <laughs> dig Duggy. Goodbye. Yeah, the only way. Oh, I don't have a hose. Mm. Mm, that's very different. Oh, they're so fast, those crabs. Run! <laughs> okay, let's go down here, crab. Ooh, I can maybe get a bunch at once. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Go! Oh, oh. no! Hi! Hi, kitty kitty. Hey! Okay, so I can get these two again right now. Oh, they're so fast. They're so fast! Yeah. Come down here. They can't dig through dirt. Oh, weird. Oh! Well, they're totally vulnerable then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Go, 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 go. And that guy's stuck because he can't dig through dirt. So, great. You don't have to worry about the crabs as much mm, then. As long as you keep them in their channel. Yep. Hi. 
I have a joystick on my lap, but you can sit between us. Yeah, no, he likes his pillow too. Hi, are you happy you got treats? Hmm? Did you get treats <laughs> mm-hmm. earlier? Oh yeah, no, I got the rock too early. I'll kill oh, myself if I go. Oh, I can do it now. No, I can't. <laughs> so I'll kill myself there. Oh, oh. That one. Damn it. Why is that ghost bike? Oh, that's the wrong move. I know. Get him. Oh! Oh, I move so slow. Okay. Your turn. Oh, I'm terrible at this game. You play you another round. Oh, you don't want to play, play the next this one? one? No, you're I'm just terrible at this game. Okay. It's a good twist on Dig Dug. I yeah. like it. See, I should have gone here, then up, then drop it. And then you can get that. Then I can get this guy. Oh, oh no! I no! Sh- oh, because he moves exactly towards you. Well, he has nowhere to move. So uh, there you go. So let's take the long way around. Oh, I would go from the bottom so the crab doesn't oh, get you. Oh, right. You went the wrong way. Go to the bottom. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> go to the bottom. Oh, there's one anyway. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then you get that. Perfect. And then. There you go! Dig Dug with a smidgen of Mr. Mr. Doo without the ball. <laughs> no ball. Let's just. Ooh. Let me go for it. It's anyway. really kind of classic arcadey music. It's very upbeat again. I love it. <laughs> do, love do, it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta kill this guy. He's being very naughty. So they're so fast. You really have to take that into account. Mm-hmm. And they move with you, so you have to make sure that. I'm gonna get him like this. Ooh. Oh. Close, close, close. Let's get this treasure first. Bloop. And then the last then one you'll down, win. then over, and win. Yay! And we'll end on stage five. Okay. After I defeat stage five. Okay. Treasure there. Run, run, run. Ooh. I should get this guy. This. Oh! Ghosty. Oh, go to the little oh, god. Oh, just get what you can let me Ooh, okay. Let's get this guy first. Nope. Oh. Oh, oh, you'll get past it. I'll be fine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't oh, hovering. Oh! Uh. Hovering. Okay. Go, 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 go! <laughs> <laughs> the Apple version is using a high-res graphics mode to implement the text tiles. Mm. Okay. Good. Excellent. Cat? Let's turn. Oh, he's gone. That one Very I jumpy. would play again as well. Yeah. They're Very all good. really fun. Oh my goodness. Really, really good ideas. I mean, a lot of them are kind of playoffs of other games. Mm-hmm. Impetus, no instructions. So this is uh, Zevius like I believe. Yeah, yeah, very Zevius. The grandfather of all shooters. Ah! Oh, well, that's good. Scroll shooters. Some of the ports put the score status on the top of the screen instead of the right side. I wonder why the Atari was not done the same way. Interesting. Oh. So that means they are done specifically for certain systems and not just spat out all at the same. So he has to recompile and do some if def statements. If def? If def. Not if def, if def. If def. What does DAF stand for? I don't for? know. <laughs> Carl, Carl G put it in there. Oh, gotcha. I'm just following him. Um, but if then, maybe. If else, if, if statements. Uh, it seems that it preserves the play field of 32 bytes width. Okay, so maybe the play field is the same. And maybe it's platform defined score, high score, stage, and lives. So. You can dif- you can say oh just different positions mm. for different systems. That wouldn't be too too challenging. If defined, Carl G says. If defined, okay. 
Oh, walked right into it. What? Oh, what? What? What did I walk into? A bullet. Oh, really? I yeah. didn't even see it. It was like going that way, and then you oh, went. Oh no! You I went didn't that even way see as well. It's, it's this background here. Oh, you oh. can defeat that. Oh, okay. Because in uh, some games you can't defeat that moving mm. force field. You just have to dodge. There could be a common concept of a scoreboard in the language that just gets compiled for different systems. Yes, exactly. Mm. Pretty good shooter. Oh, I'm liking it a lot. Oh, they're moving around. They stay on the screen, those ones. Ah! Game over. I think oh, I, I passed stage one. Did I have to repeat but stage still, one? Yes, yeah, I Yeah, because I did not pass it. Sadness. But it's a pretty cool little game. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, also, you like shooters, so there you go. Yeah. Favorite genre shooters or platformers? Ah. Uh. I, mean, you I like don't both. know. It's hard to say. Yeah. It depends on the platform and and, and shooter. Some it has to have a lot of variety, really. Um, see, that's the one I almost walked into it too. Because if the platformer varies it each level, then that's great. Yeah. And and also if the shooter has to vary at each level and have different enemies and different challenges. So if it's super repetitive, then it's like oh. it's all the same game forever. This, one, this music's a little bit more melancholy as opposed to the other ones that mm, are a bit more upbeat. You're right, yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 a little bit dun, more dun, mellow, dun, too, like a yeah. little little calmer. Which is funny, because a lot of shooters have manic, Super manic crazy, intense music. Intense, yeah, happy, it's true. happier, just crazy music. This one's like laid back. No, good shooter. This is really good. It shows that you can do really good games on tile-based systems or uh, tile-based um, game engines. It doesn't have to be graphical. Um, and there's been a number of tile-based games we played on the show for 2600 and 7800. Um... New genre, chill shooters. Yeah. You have laid back I don't mind, shooters. I don't mind it. I mean, shooters yeah. can be very, uh, any games that have a bit of repetitiveness to them, you tend to get into that zen state as you're playing, you know? Yep. This one's not Relaxed. a bullet hell. This one's No, no. At least not level one, anyway. It, it probably gets Barely even see a bullet. <laughs> Barely even see a bullet, actually. I like these water spiders, or what are they? Oh, you know, yes. um, water bugs that are water floating, bugs. floating, running around. Kind of spider esque. They are water spider bugs. Spider esque. Water bugs. Cute water bugs. I know. Very Remember cool. Water bug. Floating on the surface of the lake. Sadly, you all have to die. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. It's my mission. You are the evil. I'm probably invading your planet like every. Uh, Every story. Because, I mean, they have bases set up. Mm. Um, not my plan. <laughs> Probably strip mining their resources. But I gotta clear them out first. <laughs> Just like it, what is that movie? Um, with the blue people in it. That there's like five sequels coming, but they just keep getting pushed back. Five sequels? What are you talking <laughs> Oh, oh, um, oh, yeah. Uh, the terrible oh. Ooh, CG. Wow. Yes. Nice boss. Which They're which I, boss. I did not really was think was all that movie. great as a movie in the first place. But, Boring. And the name is Escape. Same, same plot as like a million other stories. So, Avatar, thank Avatar. you. Avatar. Yeah, there's like Avatar 2, 3, 4, 5 planned and... They, None of them ever ever been done. They keep getting pushed back year Why? after year Why? after year. I don't know. You would think they'd jump on board with making more sequels. Yeah, it made tons of money. I don't know what the plans are. I don't really care. That's yeah. why I've never looked into it. So I'm like, I don't care. Yeah. Such a terrible Metal Inner 7 says never saw it. <laughs> don't bother. Yeah. It's just as CG fest yeah. and a... Boring old. Neo Venom says same plot as Fern Gully. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, there were a lot of movies predating Avatar, I think, with this with very similar themes. But um. Yeah, we gotta clear the indigenous people to take their resources. Yeah. And 
it was so blatant in the movie. What did they call the thing they were mining? It was like unobtainium. Yeah, unobtainium. That's what oh. and metal is what Carl G said, yeah. That's <laughs> so terrible. Yeah, all I remember it was in the 3D TV era, so it was in 3D. Yes, yes. it was one of the first in 3D in the movie theater. Yep. And that I, was watched, really really marketed that we way. We watched it in 3D. Yeah. There was only one scene that made me go, "Oh, that was the first and last ever good use of 3D." <laughs> They went through a clear glass or frosted glass window in an office door. And you went through the office, like it went through the window. And I was yeah. like, oh, that's really cool. It came out and then the window disappeared as you went through it. This okay. Is, this is such a chill shooter. <laughs> it <laughs> presents <laughs> no challenge whatsoever. Yeah. Um, but the movie was just terrible. Yeah, it was a... Uh, it was a... Uh... Yeah, it came and went and made a ton of money. Oh yeah, which is surprising why they didn't put out more. I know. I am. I'm still surprised more haven't come out. Okay, I'm gonna go to stage three and then stop. Okay, fair enough. Super chill. We have. We have. Yeah, it is a super chill game. So, in fact, the music does match the game. Yeah. Dun, 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 <laughs> You're gonna sing along. Invent some lyrics to go yeah. along with it. Uh, no. I'm not going <laughs> to improv. not going to freestyle. then again, I published freestyle. a game called Space Games, so maybe I'm not one to talk about this <laughs> For a generic names? Oh, I names? bet Unobtainium was it's a Carl placeholder G. name that ended up sticking. Oh, oh okay, yeah. I missed that. They're just yeah, like, it is yeah, a placeholder. let's go for Unobtainium, it. sure, that sounds good. Yep. <laughs> Somebody uh, thought it was funny and... and yeah, sure. <laughs> No P.O.B. remix of this song, haha, ha, someone says. Not, Metal Lunar. Not, not today. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody knows about my band. Metal Lunar 7. Should actually do some music for that band, huh? Itchy nose. <laughs> Defeating the boss with yep. an itchy nose. Okay, stage three. Good stuff. Um, it needs to be harder, I think. Or faster, or something. I don't know. Mm. But uh, really, really good, decent, decent shooter. Mm -hmm. So uh, the next game is Lift. Can you load it up, please? Okay. Uh, from February twenty fifth, it uh, you clear the level if you get all the flags while avoiding the monsters. You can move upstairs by taking uh, the lift. And again, the score is down the right hand side, and the levels like everything is exactly in the same place oh, gosh. every time. Oh, devils are back. Oh, oh missed the lift. I don't get it. Okay. You can't jump. So you can't avoid them. So if you miss the lift, you're dead. Oh, God. You're dead. <laughs> wow. I fell off of it. Oh, Neo Venom says, I got the high score in Dark Cavern for the 2600. I submitted on Twin Galaxy and it got approved. 1,756,000. <gasps> Very nice. That's awesome. Good job. That's it is very hard to get a high score on any old game. Like any of the older games now because people have played them for so long. Oh, once you're at the top it's not too bad because you can oh, fall down. No. You can fall down or go up. There you go. Uh, so you really You have to get really... them in order, it sounds like. One, oh, two. Really? Three. Yeah. So you really need uh... to get on that lift right away. Space game still makes me giggle. Space game is awesome. Oh, he's at the top this time. That's much better. Go right. No, I can't. <gasps> oh no. Better get on that lift. Now you can get it. Go, go now. Go. I don't, uh. I don't know if it matters. Does yeah, because you. Oh, I think you just get more oh, points if you get them in order. Yeah, it's like um, mappy when you get the matching. Prize or the matching, um, not prize, but stolen item, um, or in um, what's that other one where you fly around? We've been playing it. Right, it's called Gakek on the Atari 8 bit. Gakek? Which is Polish for bat. Um, you know, where you fly and then you sail around, and there's different levels, and you have to. Collect things and you pee for a power up. Damn it! Arr. 
they really throw you into the fire on the first level, don't they? It's, it's like, if you miss level. the lift, you're dead! Mappy scoring. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you do want to get them in order if you can. Oof, that was close. And very mappy like movement, too. Because mappy, you've got the trampolines. Yeah. And, yes, this is. Oh, look at the roof. This is mappy. What am I doing? I'm talking about. This is mappy. Port. Inspired by mappy. I wouldn't say a port. It's, Inspired. It's very, no, no, it's, it's definitely it's not different. a port. It's yeah. definitely different. Ow, ow, ow. I keep forgetting. So you've got one monster who's chase, chasing you. Instead of like six or eight. <laughs> Hi, kitties. You have very sharp claws. We have to cut them tonight. Okay. Oh, the story about Atari. His recent exploits. Mm -hmm. um, apparently, Atari was having issues with us or something we are, aren't or not doing because he uh, ran out of wet food. So we. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nope, nope. Get down. Get down. This get looks down. pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Get down. <laughs> oh, he's got his claws stuck in the amplifier. Oh, place. Neo Venom. Oh, I got the highest score in Dirt Cat. I read that out already. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, very uh, well, my Congratulations. Turn? That's very Can you tell cool. the story about Atari and his misbehavior? Well, just that he's he's been having problems lately with asthma. And then we've been mm -hmm. trying to play with his food to see if he has an allergy to his food. So we were giving him wet oh, food God, all the time, dry. and then ran out, and we ordered more. So now we've been giving him dry, which he's not a huge fan of. Um, anyway, long story short, he um, has been acting out a little bit by chewing whatever cables he can get his teeth into. Usually... And in particular, he seems to really enjoy proprietary cables for things. So he's already bitten through bit through my Fitbit charger, which is like one integrated cable that clips onto the back. And then he just ate through another USB-C cord. Because before he went for braided cables. Yes. And now, because he's super mad. Yeah. He just, he went for, he's gone for like solid. whatever he can find, he's, he's chewing on now. Solid cables now. Oh, such a bad kid. Uh, luckily he knows what he's doing, too. Oh, he does. <laughs> he knows. He thinks he's deceiving us, but I'm an innocent <laughs> little kitty. There you go. Good stuff. That guy. He goes after you completely. He does. Oh, God. He's pretty smart. Who said he was pretty smart? He is pretty smart. He can... Chases after you. Metal Lunar well. says the the monster's pretty smart. He, he is. is. Yeah. I mean, he tries to go on to you. I think he's just heading straight for you. I haven't mm -hmm. really noticed. Bad kitty. He's he proprietary cables. I like to say a special ingredient. They're they're they're, <gasps> they're like two of them. They're gourmet cables for him. He's oh like, God. ooh, is this proprietary? Oh, I think I like that one better. I'm ah! dead. <laughs> Smoosh. I had no escape. That's really really wow. He's got. There's two now. Yeah. Uh, my cat. Ah! My cat chewed through the Christmas light oh, cable. Poor thing couldn't walk a straight line for a week. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. I'm on I a bet hard vintage level. cables are even yummier. Oh, like a fine God. age one. He he definitely likes a certain diameter though. Oh, like God. these these ones are too thick. But yeah. if they're thinner ones, if they're it, but he doesn't even chew them. He just snaps them in half. Like you come back and they're completely cut in half. Not yep. little chew marks. Severed. He severs them completely. Oh, this level's impossible. <laughs> I I don't know what I I think. Let's try going. I think go you have to. One. You oh no, you can't. Oh, I don't know how he didn't. Get I've you. tried every other combination. They killed me. Yeah, you have Except to kind of one. get to the top. Like the higher you go, right. I think the safer you are because you can Not always really. fall down. Oh, true. Oh, oh no. This level's brutal. They get you at the same spot every time. Yeah, that's why I've tried something different yeah, like that. Yeah, they are too smart. Too smart. Come over here. Oh, they wait for the lift. They do! They're really smart! Oh, okay, run, 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 run! Let's go on this one. Yeah, go go as far up as you can. Oh, they're really smart. Let's go here. There's two on one now. Here. There's oh. two on one. Yeah, I know. Run away! Run away! Oh, they use the same logic. Oh, oh God! God. Oh no, oh, now God. they're changing. They've departed a bit. Oh no, you're gonna wait a long time. Oh no! Go, 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 go! No! <laughs> oh! So crazy! You played that level. Me? Oh, I'm gonna die. 
<laughs> That's very so clever, clever AI. AI. Oh, he's a cute cat, but I tell you. What is he gonna eat next? You better not eat any ancient cables. No, that's death. Oh. oh! Go to the middle. I think you're right. And just wait for it. It seems like you're gonna die, but you won't. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to do that. No! Now you will die. Oh, I fell off too fast. So hard. Troublemaker cat. Right. I could go right to the top with that one. Score 50. 150, so you get double. Double for the um, flashing. If you have the luxury of picking which... Uh... Oh, they're so good. So smart. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh will that I don't one come? Yep, work. it will. Just in time. Just in time. What a clever game engine. Really good. The enemies are brutal. <gasps> oh! oh! You were fine. I know I was. I didn't oh, you got two left. You might make it. Nope, three left. Oh no, three. Mm, you still could make it. It's gonna be challenging. Oh god, I don't think. Oh, why did oh. you? Why did oh, you do that? Oh, I was that? trying to get away because oh, there was no. no way I was gonna make it. Oh, that's so hard. Woo. Good stuff. Neo Venom, I love my birds. <laughs> <laughs> so they aren't a problem. That's uh, good. A cat would solve your bird problem. <laughs> oh. oh. Next one is called Maisie. Aim for the exit somewhere in the maze. There okay. are monsters that get in the way, so pick up the knife and throw it down. Oh. So this one, February 26th. Looks like he did a bunch on February 26th. Like they're all ready to go. Ooh. Maisie characters, man. Chaser, disturber. Thank you, Carl G. <laughs> Meow. You hear that? What's this? What's this? Oh, stinky. Okay. Is he stinky? Or just no. the, the shrieks? Yeah, you want to play I don't want to wash then? my hands. Yeah, okay. Well, we can't play till um... Okay, okay, <laughs> we get it. We get it. Get that yummies. Get those yummies. Every game needs to pick up the knife and, and throw, throw it, it down. down. Huh, Chuck. Huh, Chuck. Damn. Atari, thanks you, Carl G. Did you ring it? For the treat time. Nope. Did you ring no, it? he did not. Did you ring it? No, ring I don't the bell. think so. Ring the bell. Good there kitty. Ding, ding, ding. Charles Wheeland. <laughs> Ringing that bell, Charles. <laughs> That's a very confident... He didn't see you toss it. He was looking the opposite way. He's like, no, there's one over there. <laughs> Kitten, look. <laughs> Give me more. <laughs> now he didn't see you toss that one. I know, that's okay. Oh, he saw it. Oh, uh, there we go. Good kitty. That is so cute, Neil. <laughs> it is. He's a cute kitty. Yeah. He's naughty, but cute. Yeah. That's why we forgive him. Good kitty. <laughs> and he's a cuddle cat. Yeah, he's a very sweet. He's a very people cat. Okay. Yep. You can watch it in the small screen. Yeah. Okay, watching the you Atari cam. That's smart. Okay. Oh, so I got a knife. I got a what? Go for the door? Go for the door, I think. There's a disturber. Oh. oh. Oh, you can get it again. Oh, the knife. Okay, so you just go for the door. There was two knives in that level. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, knocked it out of the room. <laughs> okay, there's a knife there. Throw it, and it disappears. Oh, you got it back, I think. Oh, I did. Okay. It's pretty cool. Oh. You run into it, you get so it back. I still have it. Okay. Yay. S it starts off easy levels. I bet there's going to be harder levels. Good kitty. The monsters seem pretty dumb. Like they just literally go straight for you. There you go. That guy's not even coming Good down. Good kitty. Thank you, Carl G. Thank you. Meow. Thank you, meow. <laughs> Hmm. This one is deceptively simple. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
Getting oh, him out. Oh, I got my knife. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's better. There. Yeah, you gotta lead him out. You don't want to get to... Where's the exit? Top or bottom? Oh, oh there's another nice. one. Sure. Maybe you need two to get through those guys. It's probably but at the bottom then. you get your then. knife back. Oh, you could toss one and then the other guy goes through his dead body. Yeah. Possibly, so you might need to. I can see that happening. Oh, there's the exit. Ooh. You might not even need to get them. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Good maze game. It has a... Oh, boy. I'm going to call these guys Mario Crabs, because that's what they remind <laughs> they, me of with the big eyes. They're kind of ghosty, but kind of... On the door. Oh. oh, there's a knife. Yeah, okay. we'll get the knife. So you do need to get the knife. But do I need to kill both of those guys? I don't think you need to kill anything. No. <gasps> oh, he goes after you. Just one. Okay. Wow. That's really it's easy. It's just a puzzle, then. Yeah. I guess you get more score if you kill them. Yes. But you get a lot of let a lot of points for time left over. Oh, if you do it quickly. So I would say go for the door as quickly as possible. I am gonna get two knives just in case. Do you need to find your stop it? Oh. oh my god, there's three in a row. I think I'll get three knives. <laughs> oh you do. Oh you do need three knives. Yeah. One oh, he's coming already. They have a tracking device. Mm -hmm. The AI on those guys is very stupid. They are they just, just for you. looking. <gasps> Run oh. Away. oh god, they're even closer. Oh. Oh. There we go, got one of them out. Hmm, I don't think I went past it. Nope. <gasps> oh. uh, gotta lure him out. Lure and then run, yeah. Oh my. Stage six still? Okay. Yeah. That's very. I, I bet there's a way to um, start it over with like a reset or something. Um, like an op, the option key maybe would re restart it from level one. But I love that you continue in this. Because the challenge is not getting to that level, is getting past each level. Because each level is like a. Good, good job. Oh my god. This one is actually a tactical level. Great. I agree with that. I would shoot them as they come down. You have yeah. a. Well, you do lose the knife. That's true. No, you're doing it the, a, a good way. That's, Just kind of leading them through. Because there's room. Oh boy. To lead them. Oh, risky. Those guys only go left and right, I've noticed. Really? Ooh. Or. Oh, he's guarding. Or only up and down. They only seem to go in one, one, one direction. Yeah, he's not coming for me. That's good. Uh, because you so. should be able to... Unless he can when he sees you. No. There you go. Nice. The cycle on the music is very short on each of these games. Ooh. Oh, boy. Whoa, right away. But at least it's a good short tune. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. If you stand in the middle, will he go up? Yes, okay. There you go. That guy just goes left and right. So you should be able to shoot down if you're if you just hit it. Very close though. Mm -hmm. How do I get over there? All the way around, because it's blocked completely right there. I guess I have to go up. Probably through that crab? Uh, it's hard to tell. These mazes are getting bigger and bigger. Oh, it's a dead end. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, just barely lure him. Oh, he didn't go down. Oh, my God. Yeah, you just have enough time to run away as you, as you um, get him down that level. Oh, you're getting close to the door. Oh, God. That guy's gonna go just down and up. This guys look scarier, but aren't actually scary. They just have a straight path that they follow, yeah. yeah. Once you figure out the path. Interesting game. Very interesting. Yeah, a little puzzler. Yeah, it's, it's, at first I thought it was like Pac-Man, but oh, yeah. it's not at all. 
not at all like Pac-Man. The only thing that's similar is there's... Oh my god, look at all this. <gasps> Ghost crabs. <laughs> crabs of eras past. Uh, the only similarities is that there's a maze. That's it. And ghost-like creatures. Why does your overlay rotate 90 degrees when moving up and down, but enemies don't? Your overlay? Your player, sorry. Great, it is overlay. Um, interesting. I guess he didn't want to program extra animations. <laughs> They're not even animated. They just move. Maybe because of the color scheme? Because if you look, I'm just theorizing, the player is one solid color. The enemies are two colors. Oh, but the colors overlap. So that throws my theory out the window. Because the bottom of their eyes overlaps the top of their body. So, you know. Crabs walk sideways anyway. There you go. Cat. Zero, 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 good point. <laughs> Cato! Maybe it should be Cato. Does Pac-Man not have knives? Let me think. Pac-Man? Maybe on the higher levels. No, there's no knives in Pac-Man. Pac-Man has... <laughs> just round pellets to power him up. He gets really strong when he eats those power pellets. Oh my. But actually, the ghosts just get scared of him. Right? These guys still go for you, even though they know you have a knife. Or oh, you don't have any knives. No. Ah. Right, you have to find one because they're protected. I think you've hit maximum maze size at this point. It's very tight. Uh, Mad Mike apologizes for coming late. It's okay, Mad Mike. I forgive you. <laughs> uh, is this an Atari 8-bit computer game? Yes! Uh, we're playing 10 Atari 8-bit computer games, all made by the same person. They're all cross-compiled games. That means he wrote the code once and pressed a button and it spat it out for... 30 or more different platforms, um, including ColecoVision. Our neighbors are being very loud. Running up and down the stairs. Yeah, apparently. Um, so that's why I wanted to collect them into one show and show them all off, because they have a lot of similarities between them. Like all the scores, power-ups, lives, time, stage are all on the right-hand side. Um, and the play fields on the left hand side. Um, and he also made builds for Apple II. What other well known ones? Vic 20, Commodore 64. Mm -hmm. Bunch of other computers. Bunch of Japanese computers I've never heard of as well. And they've all been very good games. Like, mm -hmm. every single one of them has been like, wow, this is a really good implementation of this type of game. And they've all been very different games, too. They're not all like, oh, it's oh, all God. 10 shooters. Yeah. Or 10 maze games. They're like all very different. It's a very, it's it's a very, very nice he's a very games. good programmer. Yeah. Like, really ah. good. And it's not just like ripoffs of games. He's changed them into his own and made the changes really work for the style of game. Like, he made a mappy type game and made it completely different, took out the, the uh, trampolines and made them lifts, continuous lifts, but kept in the rewards. You know, it's really, really cool. Uh, thank you, I'm really excited. I just got my old Atari recapped and working. If this works for the ColecoVision, even better. It does. So, uh, if you want links to all these games, just go on the Atari Age forum and look for uh, my list of released Atari 8-bit games in 2022. And the uh, developer's name, it's a Japanese name, so it is Inufuto, I-N-U-F-U-T-O. 
And I've got links to download all of these games. Nice. Getting good at that uh, strategy. It, that is, uh, that timing is kind of the, it's the a crucial key. You have to do it over it. and over again. Oh, what? It must be only up and down. Okay, we're done. All right, stay Chen. That was fun. Very good game. And that's Very good. like no other game. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, thank you. It's kind of... I, there, there's probably a game like that out there. I'm just... I don't know it. So this one is Neuras. N-E-U-R-A-S. Mm. I didn't see the date. Uh, there's the monster back again. He likes that monster. Mm -hmm. So, solver, monster... Uh, card. Oh, something wrong with the font there. Look at the O and the L. It's like he put the space on the O on the right hand side oh, and, and the, the space on, on the, the L yeah. on the left hand side. That, yeah. So there's no space between the L and the V. Solver. So actually, the L is the problem. O S O and but V. But the e L is almost fine. tucks under the V. I like it. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very interesting, interesting font. So. Okay. Solver monster card. So the instructions for this one is if you pick up a card, mm -hmm. throw it and line up the cards with the same number, it will disappear. Mm. It is clear when you erase all the cards. Okay. So it looks like monsters chase after you. You have to get... Oh, you reuse the same music. So you have to throw the cards. Probably too close. Mm. Oh, I think I have to throw the cards at another card. Oh. Uh-oh. That... Oh, now you've got a K. Okay, there you go. I think you have created yourself a problem. Oh, no. It's okay. Not sure how I... I you have to do it, it from a distance. There you go. Yay! Okay. Okay. It's a first, matching game. First level. Got it. Oh, now there's more cards. It's a matching game. Oh, yay. So that's a... Nope, that's a K. That's a Q. Nope, that's oh, a K. Oh, another K. Oh, he's, kitten. He's... <gasps> You're a bad cat. Don't do that. He's looking for treats. I think the K was up there and to the right. Oh, no. He got it. He's very naughty. Let's he does up. chase after you. Oh, and... Does he go, does he go around oh, corners? More treats oh, for you. Look at look this at little that bad cat. cat. You guys seeing this cat? Ah, kitty. I like this song anyway. Uh, Cat Zero says, "Oh, good. good. You're gonna have to listen to it." Is there an extra card each level? Soon the screen's gonna just be. Full. How do I hit that? It's not enough for room. Oh, you have to collect that card now. Oh. Uh, so you have to throw that one somewhere, which is a jack. No, I didn't want to do that. Jack. Stop it! Oh, there you go. Jack there. Just throw it. Oh, isn't it Jack up is up there, right? Nope. There we go. Oh, I can't no. get that one. You have to throw it's that right one there. somewhere. Oh, kitten! <gasps> what is he doing? He is being a menace. There's He's a missing a Lego Atari cartridge somewhere. Mm -hmm. No. There it is. He is trying to get up on that shelf because that is <laughs> the shelf of treats. Oh my. Kitten, you need to comment. Kitten! Kitten! No! Comment! Come on. Down, down, down. Come on. Bad cat. I agree, Charles. Very bad cat. Carl G says there's not too many matching card action games out there. Oh, there aren't. But I bet, I bet there's like, um, I bet there was one on like a Japanese computer system that he is making this kind of a port of. But instead of cards, I bet it used like Mahjong tiles. Oh. What do you think? Maybe. Oh, I'm just cuddling you. Take my love. Take my love. Yes. Oh, there we go. Good. You just got treat time not too long ago. 
He's he's acting out he so is, much. He is he's a little because he has asthma. No. And we've been and we've been playing with his food and he's not happy. Playing around. Oh, four guys. Oh my god. You have no defenses too. You're dead. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! You just narrowly escaped. So now they've decreased the cards, but increased the enemies. Mm -hmm. You haven't died yet, have you? Got two uh, lives. Have I? Oh gosh. <laughs> Mm. You can do it. There you go. Okay, one more stage. Okay. Then we move on. Yeah, got lots of that. Uh... Oh my god. Now you're back to many cards and one enemy. Should have brought your knife. That is true. The knife would have helped, yeah. Yeah. So you can maybe merge these games and um, now there's lots of corners and dead ends. Nice. I knew what that one was. Oh, so that's the A. Oh, there we go. Is that the A? Yeah. A is to your left there. Ding ding. Ding. One left. He's coming for you. Nice. Alright! Okay. I think we're down <laughs> to the last game. I think. I think you're right. Corruptus. Corruptus. What a name. I saved the best for last. Oh. Oh, it looks like a shooter. It is clear when you destroy all the enemy bases. The disturbing barrier disappears when you destroy the other end. Mm. Now, okay. just from this. Mm hmm? Just from this screen, what does this look like? It says trigger button, so I'm assuming that's a shooter. <laughs> no, but uh, also just, just, I mean, it's not many hints here, but. Uh, is it, is it the, I forget what it's called, where you're shooting as you, as you travel through a cavern? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. What's that called? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, scramble? Scramble. It's not scramble. Okay. Hey, Phaser Cat Games got it. Did you cheat? Did you play this game already? He got it. <laughs> Good guess. Good guess. Oh, it's James's it favorite. Is. You should have put your shirt on. Oh, That's I should have. That's okay. Look, it's got the radar there. No, I saw the map. Oh, that's what did it. The map. Yeah. I mean, that was the only hint. Of course. I didn't. I was like, it looks like it just a, a blue rectangle. So I didn't quite get that. But, oh, these, it has these a spaces cover. have. Um, oh, it just has a laser covers. Yeah. Nice. I mean, you don't have to destroy them, but so you can just go around them. Oh, why not? Oh, Neat. good. Okay. I was like, I destroyed them all. Four. There you go. I'm guessing it has wraparound map. Yeah, I bet I don't need to destroy those. Oh, now it's got two on it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, do you have to destroy them? No, I bet you don't. I think this music's from another game, too. Oh, the bullet! <laughs> oh, just barely... Oh, well, thank you very much. Which, which one-ups were that easy in Bosconian? Yeah. Oh, oh almost got very it. Very nice. Five bases now. Mm. Oh, that one is... Are we protected? Hmm. Oh, I took out but if, two. If you hit the corner, ah, it, it, it takes it gets out both, both of them. Ends. Very oh my. smart. Oh, oh the bullets are faster than me now. At least in diagonals. Oh, if you shoot while they come on the map. Oh, Ooh, what the hell? It's got a long one. Oh, oh. Is there a red alert? I don't see a red, red I, alert. I don't think it gets or that complex. Or weird speaking, no. <laughs> Let's see if I wrap around. Oh, yeah, it does. No weird speaking. Alert, 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 alert. 
Come on, bullet, come with me. Battle stations. That's right. Oh, there was a... It's pretty far away from the base. Yeah. Hmm. That's neat. This one has none. Yay. Death to the battle stations. Oh, look at that. Super long one. Interesting. Oh, so many bases now. Oh, they Damn come it. on fast and they shoot a lot. They do. There's not much of like a viewport. Mm. So if they're on the screen, it, oh, I caught the edge of it. You have to be very, very quick. Oh, you will die. Mm. <sighs> oh. It should start in stage four again. Yep. Pretty good, simple implementation of Bosconia. Ah, run! <laughs> ah, run! Run from those bullets! <laughs> oh, one up! I feel like you're gonna run into them before they. <laughs> yeah. Gotta turn around. It's in Bosconian, you can shoot them down like their exhaust port, or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, I, I love that. That's it's so kind cool. of like an exhaust port because they're so vulnerable. Oh, I would just was blind to those shots for a second. There. Or you can shoot their pods. They have six, six pods in Bosconian. So, kind of the protective barriers are kind of like their pods that you destroy. Because they do have pods in this, but you don't explicitly shoot the pods. Mm. So I wonder how it's going to get harder. Oh, 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 now they're being super tricky. It's, I would shoot those. Because <laughs> it's, ah, it's line like up. making a maze out of the protective barriers now. Very clever. Ah! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Kind of like. I wonder if that guy. I can don't go. see the shots for the stars sometimes. These must be the disturbing barriers. <laughs> well, they are disturbing because you can't get through them. You have to navigate your way around them. There we go. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, oh no! no! Just missing the one. Up. <sighs> yeah, you got to be. Ready to turn around instantly. Oh, they persist off screen. Interesting. That's good. Wonder how long they persist off screen. There's not many enemies. Like, have there been two on the screen at the same time? Uh, yeah, there have. There have? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. Uh, stop running like a cartoon character. Ah! <laughs> You're like straight away from them. Yay! Stage six. Barriers are cool. It's a yeah. cool element to add to Bosconian. Very interesting. Protect now they're actually acting like protective barriers. Where it's like you have to take down the barriers and then you can take them down. <gasps> How dare you go through the protective <gasps> barriers? Did he? he looked like he did. Bastard. Well, it is the, his barrier, so. <gasps> That's good. Just in time. Come on. Get line up. Darn you. There we go. Ah, they go through them. They do. Ah. Remember, you do wrap around left. Oh, right. I was. Okay. Ah. Oh, oh, right that into it was a hard one to avoid. <sighs> Look at that guy dancing on your carcass. Thing. <laughs> he was like, dit, 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 dit. <sighs> Dumb question, does a RetroPry run Atari 800 games? I am quite <gasps> certain there is an emulator for Atari 8-bit games under RetroPy. Let me look that up quickly. There's so many of them now. Why, why are there so many of them? Because you're on stage Dead. six. Oh my God. Dead. 
Uh, Retropie, Atari, yeah. 800. Yes, there is. Yes. So there you go. So you could theoretically, if you get it all working, play these games on your Retropie on your TV. Okay, I'm going to play this once more. Okay. Barra. Oh, dude. So many of them. This level, there's tons. And they go through the protective barriers. That mm. should not be allowed. Shouldn't be. I should have to fly around them. One more. Nice. There we go. Now I have to find the edge. Amazingly good for a tile <gasps> tile based space shooter. Yeah. Like That's you don't great. even miss like the um oh, nice. the slow speeds. Like like the chunkiness, it's totally fine. Like even the the stars move funny, right? Because they they chunk they chunk along. <laughs> they shift. They shift relative to each other. Just to make it smoother. Like they go half steps. They don't all go half steps together. That's mm -hmm. the thing. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> yeah, the emulation f on RetroPie for some systems, it may not work so well with <sighs> new games. He does dance on your grave. Yeah. That's really funny. Because he's like, oh, he's right here. No, no, I'm dead. Because I think they really are aiming for the classic games for compatibility. Um, I know it's more of a problem for like Atari 7800 and 2600 because um, modern homebrews are really pushing the limits of what those systems can do and, and doing a lot of new stuff. I don't know how it is for Atari 8-bit and 5200 games for the RetroPie. But I know that I've, I've read in a lot of places that people trying to run homebrew games on the 7800 and is just failing so bad because the 7800 emulator they use is really old. Or just not maintained, or just they don't care about homebrews as much. They just want to emulate the classic games. Which, you know, realistically, people, the people playing the classic game versus homebrew, we talked about this on another show. Mm. It's like, why aren't more people playing homebrew games for these yeah. older systems when there's unbelievable homebrew games and awesome new ports that those people that do play the classic games would enjoy? It's like, oh, you know, Mappy for the 2600. It never came out, but now you can enjoy it. Yeah. Um, Anyway, I wish they did update the RetroPie stuff so that Homebrew would be able to run on it better, because then uh, I think a lot more people would maybe play the Homebrew games, because RetroPies are really popular. No, 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 no. No! Oh my god, so many bullets. No, 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 I'd like that, please. Uh -huh. mm. Look at that! Oh, funny! Look at my lives! It turns ah, with me. That's so cute. It's just like, oh, there's the sprite. Use that one. Yeah. I think I'll go to up. Yay! Doing very well now. It's just dodging the these guys. Oh, they're so hard. Can you run Stella? Yes, there is a Stella implementation. Is there? I think it's pretty old though. Oh yeah. Like really old. Yeah. So you're not going to be running be home. Still good on a Raspberry Pi. Like yeah. yeah. It would just be does software use, running on it, right? Though, use, uh, like it's may not, not even use Stella. I I, I don't, don't know. know much no. about the Raspberry Pi. Yeah. I do have one, but I I don't play it very often because yeah. I have all this set up, right? Mm -hmm. Like the actual systems, and with like hardware that multi carts that support all the awesome new homebrew. Well, we bought a little retro pie for my nephew yes. one year when he was young. We made one. We made one. 
Did we, did we make? No, no, that was for that no, was I, for my nephews. Your nephews, and then but my we nephew. brought one over. We brought. And like we played it when we were over there. Yeah. But but it, I brought it. And yes, I took it, that's took it right. Back. Yeah. But did your brother-in-law buy one? He did because you went to. Um... No, it was something else he bought. He, he bought something. But anyway, all I remember is he. What what was the game he was playing? Castlevania Two or something like yes. that. Yes. And he loved it, and he just kept dying and dying. Yeah. But he loved it. He loved. He loves anything with monsters in it. Yeah. And uh, just love that game. But that I yeah I, I think we played that on the. On the retro pie. On yeah. the retro pie. Yeah. Swarmed. It's getting hard. Yeah. RC70, I ran RetroPie on mine. There was an Atari emulator built in. Not sure if it was Stella. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. I think they're bound by certain licenses. Mm. And that's why they're not using certain things. And they use MAME for a lot of the stuff. And MAME has built in emulators for some of these home consoles. But the builds are so old. And they don't they don't update them because they're fine for ninety nine percent of the old games. Okay, I'm gonna finish this level, uh, stage ten, and then quit because this is a little easy. This game, some of these games are hard, and some of these games are easier. And maybe I'm just better at them or worse at them. Ah, oh, it's getting hard now. Ah, oh, I want that one up. <laughs> Dancing on my grave. Mm -hmm. How dare you! Oh, let's go this way. Of course, as soon as you say, oh, I'm pretty good at this game, dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, it's, a, it's, oh, I wonder if you die there, if you actually die mm. after defeating the glass base. Do -do -do. All done. Oh, let's crash into the base. Yay. Does it go back to three? Oh, it does. You lose your, your little guy at the top there. Fun stuff. So good. What a good all set of, those, of games. A wonderful set of games. All quite simple, easy, quick to play. And all very different. And very different. Like super, and super And I love different. how he keeps kind of a lot of the same characters, like the ghost yes. and the crab and the, the guy, you know, yep. like that he has. And, and the even themes. the ships, the ships are the same. Like there's something the nice about, type. you know, creating your own little world of games. And VH said C does that Just too. That. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I like it. Thank you so much, Dan. It was a lot of fun playing through those uh, multi-platform... It is a shared universe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, multi-platform games. So if you like those games, mm. you can play them on 30 different systems. Um, Atari 8-bit, ColecoVision, uh, Apple. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot. It's amazing that they can be ported yeah. to all those systems. Fun show, fun collection. Yeah. Thank you very much. Very fun. Let's see what's coming up on this show. Yep. On Friday, we're going to be playing Dark Keep with Darcy. It yes. is a homage to a board game, tar Dark Tower. Darcy yeah. owns a board game store, so he's going to have some insight into board games and people and playing And when them. you mentioned it was a board game, he immediately said, oh, well, I have to look up and look that one up. Yeah, so, so send him so over he, the instructions. I'm excited to see, because uh, I will be off that day, too. Yeah. Oh, great. Because yeah. it's it's a good Friday. You can sit on it. So sit on it. I will just come down and I I'm, I might listen in the background or something, because I'm very curious to see oh, what he has to say check about the it. 10 ROMs. 7 or 16K, 2 or 32, and 1 and is 8. eight. Ah. Um, so for Dark Keep, he is, uh, EA Smith is going to release the ROM mm -hmm. at the beginning of the show. Cool. So everyone can play along at the oh, same time cool. and okay. watch the show. Cool, cool, and cool. they'll be in the chat mm -hmm. so they can answer your questions. It is an exclusive world premiere-ish. <laughs> you guys can be exclusive along with us. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, we will be playing that. The instructions for the game are already posted mm -hmm. in the forum. So you can actually get ready mm. for the game and know how to play the game right away. Mm -hmm. um, uh, then we have another exclusive Hellway two-player edition. Tanya and I were practicing that. Yes. It's a lot of fun. Yes, yes, um, yes. Yeah. Racing against each other. It's yeah. like 
side by side split screen yeah. and when you get on the same player same yeah, level there's a little player, arrow that shows up and yeah when you go off the screen it shows an arrow but, like the other person's ahead of you or behind you no but as you get close if yes, you're really close. far away you don't see them yeah. anymore but as they get close they're like oh they're coming up or they're coming up from behind it's yeah. really good uh, really really good so that's coming up on the mm-hmm. 22nd uh soon we're going to be playing in an after dark maybe this weekend because we'll have some time uh, Ladybug Arcade and Game of the Bear for 2022 Harmony Games for the high scores. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we can get some good scores in there. Uh, Atari Age Day 22, 2022 is coming up very soon. I think he's getting the last... Uh, Al's getting the last pieces for all of the new released games that everybody pre-ordered. So we'll be playing those. We'll be mm-hmm. having an interview with all the developers. That'll be fun. Talking with all the developers. I think we'll do it downstairs this time. I don't want to bring all my stuff upstairs again. Yeah, fair enough. Last year we brought yeah. it all upstairs and it, who cares? <laughs> it doesn't it matter. It worked, but it yeah. worked, but it was just more trouble. It was it was a lot of moving stuff around. Um I just added this. We are going to play the brand new elevator action by Champ Games mm. in May. Mm. It was originally going to be released for bus, but bus is not completely 100% compatible across all the systems. Okay. Don't. <laughs> so he has made <laughs> it into cat. a CDFJ game. Okay. Um, so we're going to... No, no, no. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so we'll be playing that yeah. in May. I know it's warm on the amplifier. We'll turn the fire on upstairs. You can go there. Uh, so that will be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. And then later on, Champ Games Secret Homebrew... Yes. was going to be in May. They're not quite ready yet, so that's going to be a little bit later. Uh, live interview with Old Style with the exclusive final version Mario Brothers mm-hmm. plus a TBA by Old Style. Mm-hmm. And it is something that people want. This game, the secret game. I've seen a lot of people talking about it. Really? But they don't know that it's coming. It's coming. It's Ooh, coming. Ooh, that's a, that's a hint. That's a mm, tiny hint. Tiny hint? There's lots of games that people want on the 7800. Come on. Come on. Uh, we also have a developer spotlight on Todd Fermansky mm-hmm. uh, when we are going to play his new game, Harpy's Curse. Nice. Exclusive world premiere of that. Don't know when that is, whenever he's done. So all these are in limbo right now until they're ready. Um, yeah, so there we go. Soul sneaks in just before the end, just to get his <laughs> name right out. Just made it, just made it, Mike. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> it was a really fun themed show today. Oh, really fun! All these Japanese and the name Atari of the name games. of the developer again. That was uh, in in. Um, in I gotta look it up. No, not in Naruto. That sounds like a I and something. I, that's where in New Futo. In New Futo. In New Futo. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. In you, Futo does Atari 8 bit. Yeah. Last. Old style. Oh, there's old style. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Yeah, uh, it's all about being first and last. Okay. That's right, though. Thank you for watching, everybody, today. Mm-hmm. Old style Mike Soul, Vitoko, Charles Wheel, and Carl, Carl G. Metal Lunar, Phaser Cat Games, Dan ABC, RC70, Mad Mike, Cat 00000000000. <laughs> Uh, Neo Venom, who got a super high score, the biggest score in the world yeah. on oh, Dark Cavern. Nice. Uh, let's see, who else? Canadian retro things. Nice. What kind of Canadian retro things are there? Are Lots. they specifically Canadian, oh. or are you Canadian and you're you like retro things? Oh, there's a lot of Canadian retro things. Retro hockey sticks. Uh, oh, there's Chaus Don Mayo. How do you Mao. say your name? Chalcedony Mao. Mao. Chalcedony Mao. Chalcedony Mao. There Chal- you go. Chalcedony is a is a stone, but oh. I don't I I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that correctly. See, but. that's that's how you do it. Chalcedony Mao. I've I've said that multiple Chalcedony times. Mao. You've never you've not listened Mao. to me. <laughs> so now maybe I can pronounce their name fully in correctly the subscriber in the subscriber name. list. There yeah. you go. Chalcedony Mao. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who else? See any. Carl G, I don't know. Oh. I'm sure you said Ken, Pack Refugee. Ken, Ken Jennings, Jennings Invader. Nice. Uh, steps. Yep. Um, pull map bot. Yeah. Uh, cardboard <laughs> box. Yes. Dave the Daring, Azure 6502. And that's a talk. I feel chat. like we had a good group good of chat. people today. Lots of people Lots in the chat. Of chat. 
You've oh, done it. Render ghost. And Render Yay. Ghost snuck in just at the last moment. So we are going to be back on Friday mm -hmm. with Darcy and mm -hmm. you um, for the long weekend. I'll have um, to do an after dark for um, the, yes. the C64. <laughs> C64. I don't know. Can you bring that down and set that up or is that oh, going to be hard? No, no, no. Super easy. Well, we should do that on Monday. I'm off all day Monday, so. There we go. Ah, the mini. Ah, oh, so, so cute. cute. So cute. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, I'll keep it out so we can remember. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we'll be back on Friday. So everybody have a good week. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll play some more games when we uh, come back. Mm -hmm. Shall I mayhem? Shall I mayhem too? Okay, sure. <laughs> I was uh, probably some icon. Some oh, <laughs> that we don't have. Yeah. Oh, the poll results. Mm. Uh, it was when we last looked, sixty-six percent to thirty-three percent around there. Let's let me just get it. Oh, seventy seventy-one percent. That's what it is. Seventy-one percent said yes. They had multiple systems wow. of the same ear at the same time. You either were very crafty with uh, good with your money, or you had nice parents. Yes. My parents would not and pay then, for. <laughs> 29 29% <laughs> had one system at a time each generation. That was more my yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I'm in that 21%. I'm surprised people had multiple systems. So you had a Genesis and an NES. I mean, it could just be also there's a little bit of um staggering. Staggering. Right, you got one and then you got one later and, and then, then, then one later and one yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh no, I can't see that icon. So all we said is shallow mayhem too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're out of here. Uh, Sega and NES. Yes, there yep. you go. And so we'll see you on Friday noon Pacific time. See yeah. you then. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.